Check it.
Yo, what is up, everyone? I am back, and we are playing Cuphead. Um, yeah, just figuring out the camera. Okay, cool. Awesome. Uh, yeah, what's up, y'all? Hey, Time Buster crew. Thank you so much for coming by. Wife Div 3 over on Twitch uh, saying, uh, hello. Hope everyone's having a good day so far. Yeah, yeah, having a decent day. I had the... Um, the energy to stream today, so I wanted to hop on as soon as I saw even a crumb of serotonin in my brain uh, that would support me doing this today. So yeah, uh, let's see, we got Hayden Nate in the chat saying uh, over on YouTube, Rhea, oh man, good luck, I was rage quitting so hard and I was on level one. Level one, that's how difficult this game is. I am hoping for the best, Nate, but yeah, thank you so much for the moral support, I appreciate it. Uh, we got uh, Retro Gaming Revival Ryan in the chat. Hi, Ray, I hope you're doing well. Good to see you, Ryan. Uh, thank you so much for dropping by. And Drew Meister in the house saying, uh, Cuphead is no joke, hard as fuck. I'll be surprised if you even make it past one level. I'll be more surprised than you are, Drew. <laughs> but yeah, thank good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for coming by. I uh, hope you're having a good Tuesday. Hey, Nate says, remember everyone to like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, Nate. I appreciate the support. And uh, Lit Gaming in the house. What's up, Lit? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Happy Tuesday. And Everneal in the house. Hi, Rhea, mate. <laughs> Good to see you, Everneal. Uh, yeah, I do have more Evercade content on the way just for you. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I need to get to Cuphead, which is today, and then um, Diddy Kong Racing, and then more Evercade stuff. Uh, that was the top three as far as, like, the winners for the poll uh, on my community tab. So thank you all so much for participating in it. I wasn't expecting a whole lot of people to engage on it, but y'all were more than happy to give me your suggestions. So thank you. Uh, we got Hans in the house. What's up, Rohans? Crimson Ranger of the North. Everneal saying on YouTube, is this on the Evercade, mate? I can't watch all of this as I have to put my lad to bed, mate. He's playing on his five grand gaming PC, mate. <laughs> We're going to camping this weekend in our 700 year, uh, pound uh, tent, mate. Oh my God, Everneal, y'all are rich. Can you adopt me, please? <laughs> I'll play all the Evercade games you want. Just please adopt me. <laughs> uh, Lit Gaming in the house says, LOL. Hate Nate says, Hans. And uh, her voice says, time for suffering. Yes, the suffering has only has not even begun yet. <laughs> but good to see you. Uh, hope you're doing well, our boy. Eh? And uh, Han says, sup, Nate. Eating paste in the house. This game's awesome. <laughs> good to see you eating paste. I love how everyone just shows up to like watch me like, you know, just get get ended <laughs> live on stream. <laughs> so good to see y'all. Hey, Nate says, uh, her boy, eh? hi. Evernail says, when are, you, when are you coming out to the UK, mate? Oh, I got to see you. I got to see uh, the Retro Gaming Revival dudes. I got to see uh, Ramblin' Man. I got to see Bomberny. There's a bunch of homies in the UK that I have to hit up. And uh, Lit Gaming says, Cuphead, very doable, but these DLC battles kind of suck. Hard for doable. Lit, well, you're a hardcore gamer, so I, I would not be surprised if you've actually finished this game. Um, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. I think I played this, like, once a few years ago, like, because it came out in 2017, and then um, it took a long time for the uh, DLC to be finished, so... Uh, yeah, like, I kind of forgot how hard the game is, but I, I definitely know I did not finish it. <laughs> hey, Nate says, how are you, Hans? Hans says, my friend told me to play this game. Um, oh, wait, sorry. Uh, where, where did, uh, the chat go? Um, my friend, Hans says over on YouTube, my friend told me to play this game, otherwise she is the better gamer. <laughs> I, have a I have a feeling you're talking about, um, our friend Kit Kat, because <laughs> she's a hardcore gamer for sure. Uh, Eating Pace says, good luck, good luck on the grind. It's tough, but a lot of fun. Jacob Aram in the house. What's up? Good to see you, Jacob. Hope you're doing well. It was nice to see you over on the, um, on the member stream over on, uh, Film Junkies channel. So, hope you're doing well. And then Everneal in the house saying, me and my lad can't wait to play this when it's on the Evercade versus Mate. <laughs> I would be, like, very pleasantly surprised if this got ported to the Evercade. Um, let's see. Hate Nate says, hi, Retro Gaming Revival Ryan. Uh, Han says, good Nate at work. Uh, let's see. Hervoye says, hey, Paste. Hervoye, uh, says, Metal Gear 1 is 35 years old today. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Happy birthday, Metal Gear. And, uh, Retro Gaming Revival Ryan says, hi, Hate and Nate. Hope you're well. Everneal says, uh, Ryan, inbox open. <laughs> hey, Nate says, Drew Meister, what's up? Mike Stan, Shill Porter in the house. What's up, Mike? Good to see you. Mike Porter in the house. And, uh, Everneal greeting Hate and Nate. Yeah, Eden Pace saying, hey, Lit. Everyone's greeting each other. Lit Gaming says, Diddy Kong Racing is so good. It is good. I'm glad that I was almost, um, looking forward to playing Diddy Kong Racing today because there was, like, a really close tie between Cuphead and Diddy Kong and I was shocked how many people wanted to see Diddy Kong but it makes sense because like 
that's the only way for us to really like play these games is like through the N64 or through a 3DS or a, um, a, a DS or a DS emulator or DS a 3DS emulator. I forget where it was ported. But yeah, like um, I was playing the N64 version. And I really enjoyed it. Han says play Fire Emblem. I know a lot of people wanted me to play turn-based RPGs, which is like really surprising too. Cause like I always figured that like the 3D platformer games and the RPGs were like the least engaging properties on my channel. But like, I guess y'all really enjoy them. <laughs> um, and let's see, uh, Lit Gaming says, really wish they made more paste. <laughs> um, Oh, uh, Edie Pace says, Diddy Kong Racing is one of the best kart racers ever made for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I just have to remember not to try and play it like Mario Kart or, um, um, or Crash Team Racing. And MIDI Music Forever in the house. What's up, MIDI? Good to see you. Uh, Lit Gaming says, I have a love-hate relationship with this game. It was supposed to be a launch title for Xbone, but then you didn't come out till five years later. Bought my Xbone to play this game. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I recall the, um, the announcement for Cuphead coming out in like what 2013 2014 or something it was it was almost 10 years ago basically and that's how long it took um and uh Aries the show says what's good Ray what's up everybody Jacob Aram says yeah that was fun I'm all right hope you're good too yeah definitely always a pleasure to see you uh Jacob Aram over on YouTube and uh Hate Nate says hello Mike Han says I have one friend in the UK and we and she owes me a drink Yes, yeah, I knew you were talking about Kit Kat. <laughs> and uh, Lick Amy says, I bought just because I really want it, but I haven't finished it. Okay, I bet you got farther than I'm about to get. I'm probably going to spend like a whole hour and a half on one level. <laughs> and um, Hey Nate, greeting Aries, that's what's up. Mike says, uh, hello, Hey Nate. Uh, Russia Gaming Revival Ryan says, Indie Heroes would be a great watch. Flea is a brilliant game. Yes, I have to get to it. I promise. A promise is a promise. I have to stay committed to the poll results, which everyone can see. So I'm trying to stay um, a woman of my word by doing Cuphead first, <laughs> and then we'll get to Diddy Kong Racing, and then we'll get to the Evercade Indie Heroes. Um, and Lit Gaming says lots of people love watching RPGs because they can give tips and they like to watch the process. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I just feel like it's like, I spend most of the time, me personally, playing like RPGs and grinding, like just replaying maps over and over, so it's not as engaging. So that's why I kind of stopped playing them as much. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to like go back and forth between, you know, game one game one day, another game another day. Aries greeting, hey Nate, Ad Zadie in the house. What's up, Ad Zadie? Good to see you. You're about to get watch me um, get ended by this game live on stream. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Happy Tuesday. Mitty says, we will chat so much that Ray will not be able to start the game. <laughs> I know. Everyone's just like popping up. It's awesome. Uh, like Amy says, I know, right? And uh, Retro Gamer and Ry uh, Revival Ryan says, you don't want to upset ever Neil mate. <laughs> Y'all are too much. Okay, cool. I am going to jump into the game. And uh, Wife uh, XD Div 3 over on Twitch says, according to Studio MDHR, Cuphead DLC has gone platinum, selling 1 million copies. Wild. Happy face. Yes, that is wild. Uh, congrats to the studio for sure. Okay, cool. Um, so as y'all can see, I do have the DLC already. So I want to play as Miss Chalice. So we will get to that. We're going to start a new game. Wait, how do I get to Miss Chalice though? Wait, does anyone know how I can start with Miss Chalice? Because I really want to play with her. Um, hold on, let me look up. Um... Uh, how to play with Miss Chalice. I should have probably looked this up. Um, let's see. Miss Chalice. Uh, Cuphead. Let's see. Uh, Lit Gaming says, Well, I watch streams for the streamer, not always the game. Like, Mega Dan last night played the boring ass Rocket game, but he's fun and so is his chat. Oh, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, Wife over on, um, on, uh, Twitch says, uh, Rhea, have you played uh, and finished the whole game? No, I have not. This is my first time playing it uh, with the DLC. And uh, Hate Nate says, pray for Rhea to have patience. <laughs> yes, please. I need your, your thoughts and prayers for sure. PKL says, hi, Rhea. How are you? Good to see you streaming. Happy as always. Uh, hope you're doing well. Good to see you, PKL. Happy Tuesday. And um, uh, Ed says, Rhea's a ball of happy. We'll see how happy I am after this game just completely destroys my will to live. <laughs> um, Playing as Miss Chalice in Cuphead is a simple affair. To begin, you need to go to the equipment menu and choose the charm named Astral Cookie. Oh, okay. Um, so I guess I'll start with um, with Cuphead. Mugman is pretty cute too, but uh, Cuphead is um, very is probably the cuter one. <laughs> 
Well, it depends, because, like, after watching the cartoon, I feel a little more, like, connected to what their individual personalities and idiosync idiosyncrasies, I think that's the word, uh, are like. <laughs> so, Mugman is more just, like, the nervous, sort of, like, reluctant, you know, buddy. And then Cuphead's just, like, the little badass. <laughs> like, it's basically, like, a Bart and, Mug and Milhouse type of um, dynamic. Um... Oh wait, I should read this. Once upon a time in a magical place called the Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. I didn't know that they were brothers. I thought they were just um, uh, friends. Shows how much I've been paying attention to the show. Uh, they lived without a care under the watchful eye of the elder, uh, of the wise elder Kettle. One day, the two boys wandered far from home, and despite the elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. First of all, why are they letting children into the casino? <laughs> Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog, explained King Dice, the casino's sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose. Oh, man. Uh, nice run, boys, laughed the newcomer. The boys gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself. Now how about we raise the stakes? He suggested with a toothy grin. Win one more roll, and all the loot in my casino is yours, the devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your souls. Deal? Cuphead, blinded by easy riches, nodded and gla grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no, cried, cried Mugman, for he understood the danger, but it was too late. Okay, yeah, Mugman is definitely like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> um, Snake eyes, laughed the devil while slamming the floor. You lose. The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now, about those souls, dot, dot, dot. The brothers pleaded for their lives. Th there must be another w w way we repay you, Bugman stammered. Yes, p, p please, Mr. Cuphead added. Hmm, perhaps there is, the devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I have here a list of my runaway de debtors. Collect their souls for me, and I just might pardon you two mugs. Now get going, the devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of these souls. Otherwise, I'll be the one collecting yours. Oh, this is scary. Um, I'll get to the chat in just a minute. I want to read through this. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mugman, panted Cuphead. We have to find the Elder Kettle. He'll know what to do. We have to find the Elder Kettle, y'all. Um, let's see. Like Gaming says, not 100% sure, but I don't know if you can play the DLC properly if you haven't finished it previously. Oh, lit. Okay, I understand. Um, that sucks. Oh, I wanted to play with Miss Chalice. Oh, whatever. Mike Schill says, Ray, are you looking forward to the finale of Miss Marvel? I am. I am looking forward to it. It should be out at midnight tonight, right? Um, Hate Nate says, I'm great, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Dorkside in the house. What's up, Dorkside? Good to see you. I came for the rage. Ready to see Raya rage? <laughs> Hate Nate says, I'm already nervous for Raya. Hate Nate says, Dorkside, what's up? Hey Nate, how are you? Says Darkside. Lick Gaming says, kind of dark storyline to save your soul. Go collect everyone else's. Yes, that is pretty effed up. <laughs> All right, Elder Kettle says, what a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into. I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil, but if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fates. Wow, some help this old man is. <laughs> you must play along for now. Collect those contracts, and you'd best be ready for some nasty business. Your debtor friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll transform into terrible beasts. Take this potion so they won't hang you out to dry. It will give you the most remarkable magical abilities. Now go to my writing desk and use the mystical ink wall there. You need to prepare yourselves for a scrap. I got the tutorial. Oh, also, I'm playing with my Hori uh, gamepad. The one for arcade games. But, um... Yeah, I wanted to see how it would work with Cuphead. Okay, tutorial. Duck, hold down to crouch. crouch. B, tap for a short hold for high jump. Dash, quick evade on the ground or air. Let's see. Okay, cool. I think I got it. How am I supposed to jump? There, okay. Wait, tap for short, hold for high jump. I mean, I'm holding it. Hmm. This is weird. Um, tap for short, hold for high jump. 
I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm holding for high jump. Y'all, this is sad. If I can't even, like, get the tutorial, or I can't get through the tutorial, how the fuck am I gonna, like, get through the bosses? <laughs> um, let's see. Darkside says, doing great, gonna lurk while Rhea plays. Play some Donkey Kong 64 myself. Lit Gaming says, jump then dash. Oh, okay, gotcha. Thank you, uh, Lit. <laughs> Lit is a pro gamer for sure, so I appreciate the pro tips. Shoot, hold for rapid fire. Okay, cool, I can do that. R for lock, hold in place, hold to stay in place. Eight way aiming. Um, okay. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, hold down R to just keep shooting. Hold and stay in place. Okay. Okay, R80. How do I, hmm, diagonal. R, hold to stay in place, eight way aiming. Hmm. Sorry y'all, I know you're, it's probably really frustrating watching me play this, but I'm like trying to learn the controls. Cool, I got it finally, eight days later. Meow Meow the Hill saying, uh, Rhea, what's up from Garguts Entertainment? What's up, Hill? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Happy uh, Tuesday to you. And uh, he says, I finally made it here. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you. Like Gaming says, you're going to need to jump and in, in, uh, fa uh, dash a lot as well as counter. Uh, what's up, uh, Landelli? Good to see you. Happy Tuesday to you. Okay, I am nervous because if the tutorial's this hard, I can only like imagine what the actual boss levels are gonna be like. Okay, Perry Slap says press jump while airborne to nullify or interact with pink objects. This also builds your super meter. Oh god, I don't like the sound of any of this. Okay, so press while airborne to nullify or interact with pink objects. This also builds your super meter. Hmm. Press jump while airborne. Oh, I see what I'm doing. Okay, so. I mean, I did it once, but it was by accident. I didn't know that I did it. <laughs> um, Han says, this is making my hair turn gray. <laughs> yes, I know the feeling. Um, Meow Meow the Heel says, coffee time Colombian. Nice, nice, Colombian coffee is awesome. Drunken Atheist Studios in the house. What's up, Drunken Atheist? Good to see you. Um, ah, just started this game the other night. Yeah, I'm just trying to um, play the tutorial right now, and I'm just kind of struggle busting it right now. Okay, um, jump while airborne. Okay. Okay, so like the control timing is what's probably like gonna frustrate me uh, because I'm I feel like I'm doing it right but i don't know if it's like my controller is just not like helping me or anything like i don't know okay um let me just keep practicing this oh so close okay so let's try this again Oh man, why is this so difficult? Yay, we did it finally! Resurrect, revive your dead pals? With a well-timed parry on the ghost. Uh, Two-player mode only. Oh, okay, I see. So I'm gonna have to skip that. X move, an, upgrade, an upgraded attack that requires one super meter card. Oh, gotcha, okay. Interesting. Coin. Collect coins to purchase items from the shop. Okay. Cool beans. I think I did that. The X move. Pretty cool. I think I used all my um, X move powers. And Han says, this game looks frustrating. I mean, I can't tell if it's like my controller or what, <laughs> um, but it looks like the controls are super precision 
uh, or timing based. Well, yeah, precision, timing, whatever you want to call it. Um, and uh, let's see. Meow Meow the Hill says, hey, Rhea, what's Fall Guys? I don't know. What is Fall Guys? <laughs> I hear that's a pretty popular game. I haven't uh, personally played it, though. Okay, y'all. I'm just trying to, like, mentally prepare myself for this game. <laughs> I'd have no idea what, like, emotional distress I'm putting myself under right now. Okay, Cuphead equip card. Shot A, shot B. Contract list. Okay, I don't think I've gotten any yet, so... Pea shooter. Example, Mega Blast. Standard issue weapon. Long range with average damage. Alrighty. Okay, so... Who is this? Hey, fellas. Look like you're in for it now, eh? Well, I used to be the same way. Always getting into trouble. Running, jumping, shooting. But now I prefer just strolling around and going to the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. Money! Three gold coins. Thank you. They're probably like, these poor saps are, you know, at the end of their days. So let's just get, throw a couple coins their way. <laughs> the root pack in Botanic Panic. Uh, difficulty selection. Simple, regular. Ooh, okay. Um, at least they give us the option. I don't know how much big of a difference it's going to make, though. Eh. Um, Lit Gaming says, emotional damage. <laughs> Hans says, I'm good at platformers, but this one looks annoying. Well, Hans, have you uh, booted up this game at all? Like, since it's came out, since it has come out? Pork Rinds Emporium. Okay, let's check it out. I think this is a shopkeeper. And uh, Lit Gaming says, I would say this is more of a bullet hell game mixed with platforming, so double hard. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Dorkside says this game's known for the challenge. Uh, Mitty says emotional damage comes soon. Yes. Uh, as, as if, like, I wasn't going through enough emotional damage as is, y'all. <laughs> and uh, Mitty says this looks like an updated Pokemon game. Boy Color, HDD, 4K, lol. <laughs> okay. Uh, excuse me. Um... Chaser is, uh, what? Example, Chaos Orbit. Long range with below average damage. No aiming required. Um, okay. Heart, extra hit point. Adds an additional hit point, but lightly weakens your attack power. Oh, okay. Spread, example, eight ways. Short range with great damage. If you keep, excuse me, if you can keep close to your target. Smoke bomb, invisible dash. You will not take damage during a dash. A great defense maneuver. <laughs> oh man, I have uh, hiccups. Hold on, I gotta hold my breath. Okay, I think that did it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Aries the Show says, you gotta uh, rear the dialogue. It's a 50s uh, Hollywood accent. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, Master Sword music in the house. What's up, Master Sword? Good to see you. Happy Tuesday. And Hate Nate says, Master Sword, what's up? Taint Snake in the house says, is that an Aaliyah shirt? Yeah, yeah, it is an Aaliyah shirt. Thank you for noticing. Uh, hope you're doing well, Taint. Uh, happy Tuesday. And uh, Master Sword says, hiccups, I see. <laughs> Heel says, lol. Uh, Master Sword says, hey, Nate. Lit Gaming says, oh, she got hiccups on stream. Hate when that happens to me. I drink water with my head tilt back. Usually works. I just held my breath for like 20 seconds. Han says, this makes Call of Duty Warzone looks like child's play. <laughs> Meow says, um, uh, 99, 2000s Aaliyah for sure. Jordan Amory in the house. Hi. Good to see you, Jordan. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining us. Happy Tuesday. I have a feeling I want an extra hit point. Um, I think I want to pick that up. Nice. Okay, cool. What is sugar? Automatic parry. The first parry move is automatic. All you need to do is jump. Oh, that is that would be pretty useful. <laughs> um, but I don't have enough money for that. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Taint says, uh, thanks, Elevelia. I was really sad when the news reported her death. I remember that day. Yeah, I remember that day, too. I think I was, like, maybe, um, 
uh, like, eight or nine. Yeah, like when that happened in like 2001. Jordan Amory says, it's my birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday or happy early birthday, Jordan. Um, yeah, what do you plan to do to celebrate your birthday? Okay, so um, Parker says, you got to equip those new purchases if you want to use them. Look at your equip card, you bums. Okay, let's equip them. Heart, extra hit points. Okay, cool. We have equipped that and uh, we confirmed. So we're going to go back. Cool. Um, yeah, sounds good. And Legsy in the house, how's the stream coming along? Yeah, we just started. Good to see you, Legs. Hope you're doing well. And uh, Jacob Aram says, I was one in 2001, but I love Aaliyah so much. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I know a lot of uh, younger folks um, still grew up with her music, even though, like, they might not have, like, remembered uh, her being around when they were younger. Goopy Legrand in Ruse of an Ooze. Okay, um, I think that's another soul that we will potentially have to uh, take <laughs> later on. So we'll go ahead and go to this one first. Botanic Panic. Difficulty section selection. Simple, regular. Oh, we got Devin Yield Nerdcast over on Twitch saying, Rhea, good to see you, Devin. Happy Tuesday. Hope you're doing well. And Cham13 says, sup, Rhea. Good to see you, Cham. And uh, Taint says, Aaliyah was good in Romeo Must Die. She must have done more. She would have done much more movies. Yes, I agree. And she is good in Queen of the Damned, too. Like Amy says, well, I was 19 in 2001. Oh, dang, lit, you're old. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I think I was um, like uh, turning nine in 2001. But when she unfortunately died, um, I was still eight. Um, and Legs Greeting Champ, uh, Dorkside says, Queen of the Damned is one of my favorite movies ever. Yeah, totally. Okay, y'all, please don't judge me too hard, but I'm going to put it on simple just so I can have a chance <laughs> at beating this level. <laughs> Champ says, sup, Legs. Lick Gaming says, no, I am old. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> well, damn, man, if you're old, then I'm old too. <laughs> you're only like 10 years older than me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh god, okay, this is where the suffering happens, y'all. This is what you tuned in for. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> oh god. Oh god! <sighs> okay, if I just keep shooting and then aiming at him. Okay, but I'm shooting him, but I have no idea like how many hit points he has. Am I doing this right? <laughs> Like, uh, uh, hate me, Nate says, simple won't help you, Rhea. Oh, cool, am I winning? <laughs> oh, God. Carrot man. Oof. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, God, no. No. Oh, I died. No. I mean, I'm lean, mean, and full of beta carotene. <laughs> okay, we're gonna retry. Good day for a swell battle. Wallop! <laughs> oh man, y'all, what is happening? Potato Dude is just like, I'ma fuck you up, fam! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Midi Music Forever says, emotional damage initiated. <laughs> Joke's on you, Midi. The emotional damage has never stopped. <laughs> okay, if I just stand here and shoot, what's gonna happen? Okay. Oof. Oh god! <laughs> Why did I do that? Why did I jump right into the attack? Oh god. Oh man. Oh god. This is so hard, y'all. Oh no! I'm lean, mean, and full of beta carotene. I got it. I got it. Okay, retry. A great Here goes. Here goes. Uh, Ryan the Heel says, Hope everyone has a great rest of your evening. Glad I could finally come and hang. Uh, stop by the channel, Mexico border, Garguts, uh, when you have time. Much love. Oh, yeah, take care. Have a good one, uh, Heel. I will uh, see you over on Garguts' channel. They lure you in with, like, the super easy battle, and then the fucking carrot comes out of nowhere with these, like, tracking missiles that are carrots. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh. Wait, 
give it a try. Paint says, who managed uh, the best to have both great music and a film career? Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. I would argue that Cher had a great music career and um, acting career as well. Oh my god, why do I keep letting this happen? No! Ah! Buttered, smashed, and mashed. It's over for you. The gaming says Ludacris. Yeah, Ludacris had a good acting career and music career as well. Oh man. Oh my fucking god. Ah! Fuck. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Hate Ned says, place your bets so she'll raise crit between your bets here. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh, man. Leg says, she's got that third eye. <laughs> Leg Gaming says, or DMX. Yeah, DMX is a good actor as well. I agree. Oh, and Ice Cube. Ice Cube is a really, really good actor as well. Like, he's kind of, um, like... His range is a little limited, but because he's kind of always like the tough guy or like the the funny tough guy. Um, but yeah. Let's see. Uh, Ads80 says this is a strange game, lol. <laughs> this match will get red hot. This match will get red hot. Oh man, what is happening, y'all? Bell Reef says, beautiful Rhea. Good to see you, Bell. Hope you're doing well. Happy Tuesday to you. Oh man. I lost one of my health already. <laughs> Tyrese Gibson. Yeah, Tyrese had a great career as well. I'm noticing a trend here of like actors and actresses that we're calling out. Um, I would argue that Whitney Houston was a good actress as well. She was great in The Bodyguard and um, Oh gosh, there was another episode, there was not episode, but movie she was in. Um, oh, fuck. I'm drawing a blank. It was with Angela Bassett and a bunch of other uh, actresses as well. Uh, Belle Reef says, reminds me of a Rick and Morty episode. Yes, yeah, the, the animation style, it's all rubber hose. Oh man. Nate, you are not lying. Um, simple is not simple at all. <laughs> like, God forbid I try to play on regular mode. <laughs> Oh man. Cham says, don't forget you have a super shot too. Oh yeah, you're right, Cham. I forgot. Oh fuck. Okay. Uh, Lit Gaming says Ice-T as well. Yeah, Ice-T is a good actor too. Um, he's good in uh, Law & Order SVU. Oh man. Oof. Okay, um... Oof, let me just uh, shoot these missiles out of the way. Oh man, I, am I even like doing any damage to this enemy right now? Like, I have no clue. Oh my god, no, no, no. Come on, Cuphead. I wish we could play with Miss Chalice though. I did not beat the game. Oh my god. This is the longest I've lasted so far. A knockout! Oh my gosh, we did it, y'all! Achievement unlocked. Wow! I was... Okay, I, I deadass was thinking there was going to be another um, boss in that level right there. Uh, Taint Snake says, Ice Cube, I agree. Friday and the Boys in the Hood are great. Yeah, Boys in the Hood is like... is. That's cinema right there for sure. It's um it's a heartbreaking story though, but it's um it's it's necessary, you know? It's like um it's it's like crucial for like his art like like history for it to exist. Um Mitty says rip. <laughs> Cham says oh, oh yeah, the super shot. Thank you so much, Cham. I was able to defeat Carrot Guy for by ha by having the uh, the super shot. Uh, Mike Stan Shill Porter says, this looks fun. Did you see Love Thor and Th Thunder? What did you think? Yes, yeah, so like I did see Love Thor, uh, uh, Thor, Love and Thunder, and I actually kind of liked it. I gave it a 7.5. Like it's above average, but it's definitely not like, like the best Marvel movie ever. So like I totally understand why it's getting a lot of heat right now. Um, because there are some questionable filmmaking decisions in it and writing decisions and stuff. And a lot of like the jokes didn't really land with me. Also, like, there were a lot of, like, plot threads introduced that didn't really lead anywhere. At least, like, in the, within the context of the movie, they didn't lead anywhere. And, um, 
some of the inconsistencies with other movies, like as far as like plot points that were developed and like characteristics of different um, different um, d personality traits of different characters uh, that were established in past movies were not consistent in this movie. So yeah, it's just a lot. <laughs> um, uh, Gasan says, change the weapon. Oh, it looks like I, I, um, I did it, but, uh, I was able to win with the, uh, pea shooter and then the power-up weapon. So thank you, Gasan. And we got, uh, Kaden in the house. What's up, Kaden? Good to see you. Ari says, Janet Jackson and Nettie Professor too. Love that movie. I love Janet as well. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that she's, like, an amazing actress. Like, she's, she's decent. Like, um, she's good at playing, like, the sad, like, the sad girl, I guess, um, or like the nice girl, um, next door, like very much like Poetic Justice was, uh, so yeah, um, and yay, everyone's saying yay, did it, Lit Gaming says be careful, some bosses say knockout, then they come back, oh my gosh, Lit, you're, I, that was exactly what I was thinking too, Nate says agreed, Lit, Jacob Aram says Boys in the Hood is my favorite of all time, rest, um, in peace, John Singleton, yeah, definitely, he's an amazing, uh, director, um, and, um, what else, uh, was I about to say? Yeah, like, Tyrese and Baby Boy was also, like, a really good role for him as well. Like, uh, he, like, all the actors brought their A-game a to that movie, too. Uh, Hate Nate says, Four Brothers is my favorite John Singleton movie. Oh, yeah, definitely. I remember that one with, um, Andre 3000 in it, too. And Belle Reeve says, I liked her in For Colored Girls. Yes, yeah, she was, um, she played a really good, like, sort of, um, like very like selfish business-minded woman and um unfortunately like that was kind of um like I, don't, I wouldn't say she deserved what happened to her but a lot of like the coldness that she had in the movie kind of had some comeuppance later on for her character so i'll, I'll leave it at that so y'all can like you know check it out if you want hate nate says um she was good bell reef says she was the bee of a boss <laughs> yes exactly and uh lit gaming says you're gonna need to learn to parry those pink objects during boss fights to build your super i know the timing of the parry though is really hard tank says uh the only film with janet jackson i watched was poetic justice i watched it for tupac but didn't like it much it was okay it was um i think it's more of like a cult classic now um especially because of the um like uh, the music and um, a lot of like the fashion choices as well. And uh, Lit Gaming says it's not very good taint. <laughs> it was it was okay. Yeah, like it's a cult classic, like I said. Um, okay, uh, what is this? Forest Follies, Run and Gun. Okay, let's play this. Forest Follies, y'all. Da, 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 da. The anticipation intensifies. Cham says, how can you name famous actors and singers and not me mention David Hasselhoff? Shame on you all. <laughs> well, we're talking about like famous like black actors and actresses, uh, particularly Cham. <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> I wasn't even like uh, paying attention. Oh fuck, <laughs> fuck, no, no. I need more coins <laughs> so I can buy more power ups. Oh man. Ooh, a coin! Yay! Do I get more coins if I des des de destroy more enemies? Is that how it works? Oh god. <laughs> Why did I do that? Tate says David Hasselhoff is the goat. I mean, he's not bad. He's He's pretty talented. He's a good singer. I'll admit that. Oh god. <laughs> Bruh, chill. I need some damn health, man. Oof. You died, no! Cham says, but he's popular. Yeah, he's popular overseas. <laughs> nowhere to run, nowhere to go. This forest is your foe. Ah. All right, let's try. Like Gaming says, his song in Kung Fu, Kung Fury is amazing though. Oh yeah, I love Kung Fury. Is that the, um, the ping pong uh, movie? With, um, Christopher Walken. Oh, wait, no! Kung Fury! That's the, uh, Netflix movie. I'm so dumb. I was thinking of, um... Uh... God, what is that... That ping pong movie? Y'all y'all know what I'm talking about. With, uh, Christopher Walken. Uh, okay, let's see. Get the coins. Oh, no. Ah, uh, my health! 
Paint says, uh, the Kung Fury soundtrack was really good. Uh, Cham says, way better singer than uh, Vin Diesel. I didn't know Vin Diesel was a singer or attempted to sing. <laughs> Le Gaming says, Patrick Swayze is also a singer. Yes, exactly. Yeah. If we want to talk about actors and actresses who like attempted to have singing careers. Apparently, Scarlett Johansson is a singer as well. And uh, Little Games Bro says, hi, I'm new to the stream. Good to see you, Little Games. Uh, welcome to the chat. I hope you're doing well. Happy Tuesday. Um, yeah, I'm just uh, playing some Cuphead, getting my shit wrecked <laughs> in front of everyone. Uh, Lit Gaming says, Eddie Murphy singing is a joke. Oh my gosh, I love his song. Um, my girl wants to party all the time, party all the time, party all the time. Yeah, it's um, it's a banger for sure. I love it. <laughs> Not even gonna apologize for it. <laughs> Lil Games Row says I am a YouTuber. Oh, nice, yeah. So I have to check out your stuff, Lil Games Row. Yeah, I am uh, trying to branch out to different uh, communities and share my work and w check out more channels and stuff because I really enjoy um, getting to know new people and new gamers and stuff. So yeah, it's always a pleasure to see new folks pop up and. Um, then I get to go and visit their channels afterwards. I died again. Boo! All right, let's retry. Uh, Ad says, Lil David Hasselhoff. Lit Gaming says, Zoe Deschanel is an amazing singer. Yeah, Zoe Deschanel is an amazing singer. Um, she's in this group, um, She and Him, I think that's what it's called. Uh, I think she was married to the, uh, lead singer of, uh, Death Cab for Cutie as well. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. No. Get away. Uh, Bell Reef says Jamie Foxx is good, too. Yeah, Jamie Foxx, absolutely. He's a good singer as well. And uh, obviously a great actor. Aries says uh, John Q, amazing. Hey, Nate, I have a feeling um, Den uh, Denzel Washington would be a good singer as well. Like, But that's probably not his bag. <laughs> He's like this generation Sidney Poitier, basically. He's like, nah, I'm good with just being an actor. <laughs> oh, and his son, uh, John David Washington, is also um, a great actor as well. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oof. God, these flowers, bro, they have zero chill. Oof. Oof. Oh, God. If I just keep running, is that basically what I should be doing? Because I keep trying to go back and um, and defeat enemies. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Aries just says, uh, I just recently watched Fences with uh, Viola Davis, and that was amazing as well. Oh, yeah, that was um, her and Denzel Washington together. Uh, Aries says, John Q, amazing. Oh, thank you for subscribing, Herbeth uh, and Portio. Thank you so much. Uh, Necron in the house saying, uh, dropping by for a like. What's up, uh, Rhea? Good to see you, Necron. Hope you're doing well. Happy Tuesday. Thanks so much for coming by to visit. And um, Luck Gaming says, got to learn to use the lockout uh, and just keep moving forwards. Oh, um, well, like, I'm pressing uh, the shoot button which I think is uh, the Y button. Yeah, I'm pressing the Y button, right? And um, I'm not 100% sure how the lock button uh, works. <laughs> uh, I know I did it in the tutorial, but I already forgot. Uh, Kamuza says, Rhea got ads on Twitch. Oh, I do? Oh, nice. Um, that's uh, really cool. I did not think I had those turned on. I should turn those off though because um, I only wanted the uh, memberships turned on. I didn't necessarily want the ads, but I don't know if it's like an either or for Twitch or like if it's a, uh, oh, if you want memberships, you need to have ads turned on. Uh, Bell Reef says Balls of Fury. Yes, yeah, Balls of Fury, that's the one. Uh, let's see, Lit Gaming says, um, gotta learn to use the lock on and just keep moving forward. Okay, um, the forward button, well like, I have the lock button. Well, like, I'm pressing the lock button, but I, uh, I can only press the shoot button with the Y button. So sh having the lock button is not really, like, doing anything for me, so I have to keep holding down the shoot button. Um, anyway, Ad says, uh, Sylvester Stallone singing Rhinestone, lol, I win. Oh, yeah, Rhinestone with, um, 
The Dolly Parton, yeah. <laughs> Oof. Oh dang. Y'all. Y'all. Oh god. Woof. Oh no! Oh, it was getting intense, y'all. Uh, Stream Element says, Darkseid just tipped $10. You deserve this for playing this game. Oh my god, Darkseid, you're too kind. Thank you so much. I appreciate the donation. Oh my gosh, that is, that is awesome. And um, yeah, uh, y'all, uh, Darkseid also streams a lot of uh, retro games and modern games over on his channel. If you check him out, it's Darkseid with a Z. And uh, yeah, please go check out his work and support him over there on YouTube. Uh, Junkin Atheist Studio says this game intimidated me for so long, but I'm glad I started playing. Oh yeah, yeah, it's um, it's a very fun, colorful, charming game. It's just uh, very, very, very intense. Uh, I have to focus a lot. It's a lot of trial and error, but yeah, hopefully I can you know get some muscle memory in and hopefully make it past some of the levels today. <laughs> Uh, let's see, DL says, how many times have you died in this game already? I've lost track, DL. <laughs> uh, to be totally honest, this game is, uh, beating my ass pretty bad. <laughs> uh, let's see, Lick Gaming says, hold the lock button to shoot in all directions. It will hold you in place, but it's still better than running back, uh, because enemies will respawn. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm struggling to understand, is that the lock button doesn't necessarily keep me locked in place. <laughs> At least, like, on my controller, anyway. Kamuzu with the exclamation point, and um, uh, Taint says, ads are a strange thing, imagine this, you have to endure something annoying that you don't want to get something, so th uh, that you don't want to get something for free. Yeah, yeah, like on Twitch, um, I didn't necessarily want to have ads playing, I just wanted to have memberships activated. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Um, I wish that could be the case for YouTube where I can just like choose to have my memberships activated and not necessarily have ads, um, but whatever. <laughs> um, Bell Reef says, Denzel's Spanish is pretty good. Laugh my ass off. Oh, dang, I didn't know that. I think, um, uh, I don't think I've ever seen, uh, one of his movies where he was speaking a different language. Kamuzu says, I remember Cuphead being popular in 2018. Drunken Atheist says, I can only stream it for about an hour at a time. Once I start screaming, I have to tap out. <laughs> DL says, have you watched the Netflix show? It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, the Netflix show is really good. Totally. Kamuzu says, I got an ad on one of my YouTube videos, Strange. Yeah, yeah, like uh, YouTube uh, monetizes non-monetized uh, um, creators. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> And um, Dorkside says, I need to check the show out. Yes, totally. Oh, and thank you again for the uh, very generous donation, Dorkside. I really appreciate it. Okay. Um, Lit Gaming says, I need to keep running. <laughs> so let me just try to do that and keep shooting. I only have one hit point left, y'all. Oh, damn. Oof. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah. Uh, Taint says, Denzel spoke Spanish in Training Day, a great film as well. Oh, I totally forgot. Yeah, that is a good point. Now go. Now go. Let's go, Cuphead. Let's get those coins. Let's get this bread, y'all. Oof. Jumped right into that enemy, y'all. And that one, too. Oh, God! Oh, my God. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Aerie says, Denzel as uh, Lucas Frank was dope as hell, too. Oh, or is do was dope as well. Yeah, um, American Gangster. Yeah, there, yeah, he's his filmography, or whatever. Filmography <laughs> uh, was uh, pretty top-notch. Um, very, very few misses on his uh, resume, for sure. Oh my god. <laughs> Oof. This is like madness. It's just like visual, like, cacophony. Cacophony. Me trying to use big words, like, that is just not a no go. <laughs> Sham says, I loved him in American Gangster. Kamuzu says, Denzel ain't got shit on me. Or King Kong ain't got shit on me. Yes. Yeah. 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 Training day, y'all. What y'all know about that? <laughs> 
Apparently more than me, because I forgot that he spoke Spanish in the movie. Um, Ari says, Kamuzu. <laughs> get these coins, gang. Let's get this bread, boys. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Oof. Bro, like, y'all could be, like, a little bit more generous with the, with the, like, the hearts and shit for this game. That would be great. Bell Reef says, DL, and, um, Bell Reef says, it's a tight name. Uh, Dorkside says, Book of Eli is one of my favorites, Denzel. Ari says, Book of Eli, Dorkside is massively underrated. God, let's try this again, y'all. Okay, um, hold on. Let me get my chat back up. Um, okay. Cool. Uh, okay. Uh, Alrighty. Fuck! <laughs> I forgot the shoot bu where the shoot button was at first. Oh my god! I should probably just kill myself right now just because, like, yeah, I'm not going to make it past uh, this with just one hit point. <laughs> DL says, what's up, Bell? Nate Nate says, Tom Hanks, buddy. Yeah, Tom Hanks is uh, for sure, like, another great actor. Cham says, this is, uh, there's supposed to be a way to call the genie by turning into circles on the mainstream screen. Supposed to give you more lives. Oh, okay. Um, I did not know that. <laughs> I remember when, um, like a few years ago, people were clamoring for Cuphead on the Switch. And everyone was like, Cuphead's never coming to Switch, blah, blah, blah. And now, like, you know, a few years later, here, I, here we are playing the DLC for Cuphead. <laughs> well, I can't play it because... I never beat this game. Ari says, Ray about to lose it. I know, I'm just like smiling through the pain right now. <laughs> Run and gun, okay. Uh, Bell Reef says, love you so much, Bea. Good stream, keep killing it, Chica. Catch you later. All right, take care, Bell. Thank you so much for coming to visit. Hope um, all is well with you. And um, yeah, I'll catch you over on your channel uh, next time you go live. Cham says, I'll be uh, still waiting for party animals to be released. Oh, is that a game? Is that what you're talking about, Cham? Oof. So much stress, y'all. Y'all don't even know. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god, y'all. Ah! <laughs> Geek Getaway says, what are you playing this on? I'm playing it on Switch. Oh man, y'all. This is a nightmare. Cham says, Party Animals this is a demo last year. It's basically a way better game beast with floofy animals. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, Party Animals. I'll have to check that out. Darkside says, Tony, this is on Sega Dreamcast. <laughs> Dude, I could totally see this on the Saturn, though. Saturn was like a powerhouse for graphics. Oh my god, this hit detection, though. I would love to um, find this genie that Cham spoke of to get more hit points. That would be great. Kamuza says, Twitch uh, broadcast ended. Ew, it did? Hmm. Oh, it says that it's um, unstable. Poor network connection detected. Huh. That is weird. Why is it a poor network connection? Um, let me see. He getaway says, I do not have a Dreamcast. I wonder if Twitch is having um, uh, some sort of like server issues or something. Oh, um, the Twitch stream had to restart. Oh, that sucks. Damn it. And, um, hmm. That is so weird. Let's see. For stream settings over on on Twitch. Let's see. Um, da, 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 da. I wish I could turn off ads <laughs> on the um on the Twitch side. Oh, thank you folks for coming back to the um the Twitch stream. There was an issue where it went offline for a minute. Kamuzu says, we're back. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much for confirming, Kamuzu. And Snorlax says, possibly it is Prime Day. Oh, nice. Good uh, good to see you, Snorlax. Hope you're well. Yeah, it is Prime Day. I saw some deals. Like, there was this 8-Bit Doe arcade uh, stick that I was considering getting for a while. And um, 
Also the one terabyte micro SD card for a hundred bucks. That's also a pretty good deal. So yeah, those are kind of the ones on my radar at the moment. What deals have y'all scooped up so far? Mike Schill, uh, uh, Porter says, oof, uh, is what I'll say after most of my attempts of the dad jokes on the day on Twitter. <laughs> uh, what dad jokes were you coming up with today, Mike? Um, Cham says, how to summon, uh, the genie, uh, spin in tight circles on the world map rapidly. Keep spinning until the genie is summoned. Oh, okay, I'll have to check that out. Um, I may just try that after I inevitably die again on this level. Ads80 says, yep, me too, lol. <laughs> Ads, um... Uh, Mike Stan Porter uh, uh, says it also buffered on YouTube. Oh, okay, that might have been my internet. It kind of goes in and out because um, high volume of users in the area on the same network. Uh, Lit Gaming says, well, yeah, people slam the website for good deals and it crashes the system. Uh, Ads 80 says a big cup of Rea Grande. <laughs> All right, I have to try that genie uh, trick as well. Um, Marvel Maniac in the house. What's up, RJ? Cuphead is the antithesis of chill, but you're doing great keeping your composure. The game is super hard, but so rewarding when you win and succeed. Who is it says? RJ. Yes, yeah. Let me exit to the map to try out this, um, genie hack that, uh, Cham mentioned. Kamuzu on Twitch says, I've been trying to find some Lego deals for future vids. Yeah, yeah, I've been seeing some Lego deals. So, like, what I define as a deal versus what other people and I guess the internet define as a deal is, like, totally different. Like, if I see, like, 30, 40, 50% off, that's a deal. But if it's, like, 20% off, I'm like, that's not really, like, a noteworthy deal. Like, it's, um, something I can, like, find any day of the week. <laughs> um... Okay, so let me just, uh, oh, we did it! Thank you, Cham! It is I, Game Genie, Jimmy. I grant thee three wishes, and this is the first. Each wish doubles HP till the next win. <gasps> so I think I did it! Yay! <laughs> Aries the Show says, would y'all say PlayStation Plus Premium is a good price at 119 yearly? I'm considering getting it, but I'm not sure if I'm screwing myself over. Um... That's $10 a month, right? So $10 a month to play online? Well, it depends, because, like, Aries, I didn't know if, like, you're, if you play your PlayStation enough to, like, warrant $10 a month, because that's basically, like, that's your Dis Disney Plus uh, subscription right there, so it just depends. Uh, Snorlax says, agreed, I buy things that are minimum 40% off. Yes, 40% off, that's a deal. Like, the one terabyte mi micro SD card, like, that's usually over $200, and it's on sale for a little over $100. So it's over 40% off. So that's a pretty good deal in my opinion. That's the one thing I was thinking of getting. Games, Movies, Comics R Us says, is this the game where a cup is trying to avoid getting destroyed by some really good classic looking animation bad guys? Yes, it is Games, Movies, Comics R Us. Thank you for coming by. Hope you do well. Uh, let's see. Marvel Maniac says, I think the new place, the, uh, PS Plus is worth it just for Toy Story 2 on PS1. <laughs> uh, Midi Music Forever says, Disney Plus sucks anyway. I love Disney Plus. I loved Obi-Wan, Miss Marvel. I mean, I watched Moon Knight. I, I didn't love the show, but I... It wasn't the worst thing in the world. And then getting all the new um, Marvel movies on the streaming platform, like 45 days later, is a good value too, in my opinion. All right, what are you doing over here? Harumph, I'll be a monkey's uncle if I'm putting my moolah in the bank. <laughs> For all I know, the devil probably controls the place too. They'll never get a hold of my gold if I spread it all around. And if some Joe happens to find a coin or two, good for him. That's what I say, Harumph. Oh wow, this guy is just super sus <laughs> on, on banks in general. Clip Joint Calamity. Oh, Ribby and Croaks. These are the frog dudes. Okay, let's see what we can do here. <laughs> Rabbit Dude says, let the rage begin. Oh, we've been raging for like an hour. <laughs> oh, Rabbit Dude. <laughs> Where have you been? Hope you're well. Happy Tuesday to you. Y'all, yeah, it's about to get nuts. It's about to get cuckoo bananas up in here. <laughs> Jacob says, Disney Plus is okay, but I'm all about physical media. Yes, I love that physical media, for sure. I'm surprised, Jacob, because, like, you're a younger person, so usually younger people could give less than a fuck about physical media. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, relax. Like, gaming, I think this is, like, the parry thing that you were talking to me about. Like, I need to get good at that, or else I'm never going to beat this game. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. I should probably watch someone play this game. 
<laughs> before I try to like play it myself. I don't know. I just went in like balls deep, no rubber, <laughs> like hoping for the best. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot, y'all. You died, of course, because I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Jacob says, I have a CD collection. Oh my god, Jacob, I can't believe that because like, well, by the time you were like old enough to like buy stuff, Z CDs were like obsolete. <laughs> um, okay, crude and bad because we're from the wrong side of the lily pad. Oh my gosh, y'all are, um, yeah, y'all are big bullies. <laughs> Here's the show says, Marvel Maniac, there are some great titles on there, so I might take the leap and see, see what's up. Uh, Jacob Aram says, like, ridiculous CD collection, you'd be surprised. Yes, I, I am shocked to hear that. Like, what is it about CDs in general that you like to collect them for? Because, like, I get why people collect Blu-rays. Because, like, streaming, you're never going to get, like, uh, you're almost never going to get the same quality as you would, like, with a Blu-ray. Uh, Ads80 says, Cuckoo Bananas. Yes, it is Cuckoo Bananas. <laughs> Rabbit Dude says, you should consider playing Dark Souls next. It's good for beginners. Oh my god. Rabbit Dude, you just want to, like, see me, like, just, like, completely, like, spiral. <laughs> uh, Kevgret says, hey, Rhea, we're talking about CDs. I'm so old. I own 3,000 CDs. Kevgret, why are you owning CDs? Like, okay, this is what, this, this is a good question for folks who collect CDs. Like, what is it about CDs that you want to collect them for? Is it just like the audio quality or is it like the versions of songs that are, that have, that are not, you know, available on streaming like apps? Like, let me know. Cause like, as far as I can tell, like video games and movies are like the big ones to want to collect because there are certain versions of video games and movies that are no longer available for download. Um, okay, cool. And Mike says, my attempt of a dad joke that day can be found on Twitter. It's a Star Wars edition and was read on Star Wars Santa stream today. Here's the dad joke. What do you call a carload of Star Wars loving circus workers with lightsabers? Attack of the clowns. Oh my God, Mike, you are literally the worst. <laughs> um, Jacob Aram says, I think my mom helped that. She burned CDs and I just had a lot of them because she was a huge music lover. Oh, okay, so I thought you meant that you collect like, like retail edition of CDs, not necessarily burnt CDs. Um, Kevgret says, I got them for 25 cents or less, then I scanned them into the library. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So, like, do you just keep the CDs, like, in case anything happens to your backups? Or do you still listen to your CDs and then just have your backups, like, strictly for backups? Like, let me know. Because <laughs> I'm, like, genuinely curious now. I used to, like, burn CDs and I used to hoard MP3s all the time. But then I discovered, you know, like, Apple Music and Spotify and stuff. And I'm just, like... Yeah, this is great. <laughs> this this is fine. Because I'm not really someone who's like really like a stickler for audio quality like that. So I never really like got into collecting movies and uh, music for that reason. But video games, it's different because a lot of the video games that I like to collect physically, um, it's either for like, uh, like ease of uh, availability to just pop and play like my, my game on my preferred platform, which is my Nintendo Switch. And um, also, I don't want to keep having to buy storage um, for for downloads. But yeah, it's uh, it's kind of a drawback too because those physical games take up a lot of space, and I don't really have space to really display them like that. Uh, Ads eighty says, "Lol, I stopped doing dad jokes. The freaks ray out. Lol. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't freak it freak me out. It just sort of like I'm like, damn, I thought I was cringe." <laughs> And uh, Kamuzu says, CDs have charm, I guess. They do. I'm, like, shocked that there are actual CD collectors out there like that. Uh, Super Ace Gamer brand in the house. I got them. Uh, hey, lying down still have COVID. Oh, Lena, I hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, just, like, sending well wishes your way. Um, a lot of, like, my friends and family have also been contracting COVID. Like, I get it. Like, you know, summer, you want to be outside in the public and stuff like that. But, you know, remember to stay safe and, you know, wash your hands and you know wear hand sanitizer wear your mask if you you know if you're able to like just you know i'm hoping everyone you know has a su fun safe summer basically kamuzu over on twitch says what's brown and sticky oh my god i i i'm scared to ask what's brown and sticky kamuzu um lit gaming says i will only ever buy a new car if it has a cd player oh dang lit gaming with the cd player no so like i um 
Like I said, I I get it. Like CDs have like like amazing sound quality, but like how I listen to music, it's usually how I discover it like either on YouTube or the radio, and it's not the best sound quality. It's like if it if a song is you know dancey and poppy and and catchy and things like that, I'll just you know shazam it and save it on Apple Music and listen to it that way. Um, MIDI Music says, I have a CD player in my car. It's the only thing I ever use them for these days. Wow, so many CD player users. I'm like genuinely like fascinated now. I did not expect this. Well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised because a lot of like my audience is super like pro physical media. And obviously that does include CDs. Um, I always figured that like when it came to music physical media, people would want to collect vinyl just for like the aesthetic and you know the nostalgia of vinyl but i didn't realize that cds were actually one of those um preferred formats to collect as well drew meister says burn cds are so obsolete now oh well like i think folks are saying that uh they back up cds to to burned copies and they also collect like the retail versions as well drew meister and uh, Snorlax says, I have almost a thousand CDs that fall into that category. I have about 300 CDs that are misprints. Wow, okay, so that's a good reason to collect them as well. Let's see. Um, trying to catch up with the chats. Uh, Lit Gaming says, I hate all digital. Yeah, yeah, like um, for music, it, it hasn't been too much of a thing for me to really um, want to have physical media for. Kamuzu over on Twitch says, what's brown and sticky? A stick? Oh my god, get out of here, Kamuzu. Uh, Kevgret says, CD sales are actually making a comeback. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I figured that, like, vinyl was making a comeback. Oh, you know what else is kind of making a comeback? But not really. Um, cassette tapes. Like, I can see people collecting cassette tapes just for, like, the aesthetic. Um, like, having, like, an old school tape player, that is a big mood for sure. And, like, VHS tapes as well. But like VHS tapes kind of fall into that category of um, movie media that is like out of print. Like if I wanted to watch a movie, I would have to find it on a streaming platform. And then it's like whatever version that streaming platform has access to. But if I want it like um, an international version or a director's cut of something that is not available anywhere else, I would need to find it on like a physical media. Rabbit Dude says, Rhea, I own have I have nothing against physical or digital. I'm okay with both. Yeah, yeah, totally. I'm okay with both too, to each their own. Uh, CM Retro says, I love cassette tapes. Yeah, cassette tapes are a big mood for sure, CM Retro. I know you were mentioning um, that on your um, on your hunt videos, you oftentimes pick up VHS tapes as well. Cam says, I won't use CDs anymore, but that's only because UK overseas music is not on Spotify, Pandora, etc. Oh, we got Nintendo Ali in the house. Uh, yes, Rhea Cuphead, this game is my jam. Hard jam, but still jam. Oh my gosh, this game is... Um, the only ra reason I'm like not rage quitting right now is because the chat is like on fire right now and I'm like keeping up with it. <laughs> um, we got someone in the chat right now. Sorry, I can't pronounce your name, but you said woman moment and she plays on simple difficulty. Yes, yeah, I am playing on simple difficulty. Um, I think a lot of people do. It's not just women, but yeah, um, hope you're well, person. <laughs> um, and uh, Gerald Fuentes says, hi, good to see you, Gerald. Hope you're doing well and uh, happy Tuesday to you. Glick Gaming says 360 let you burn um, music to hard drive and play in game. Oh, 360 did that? I never owned an Xbox, so I have no clue. Snorlax says, Taint Snake, uh, tapes are fantastic quality. They still used in some parts of the music industry. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. That's really cool. And uh, Gerald Fuentes says, Cuphead, I have that game. Yes, totally. Um, a lot of people do. Uh, this is my first time playing it on stream, so I was expecting to play it with um, uh, Miss Chalice, but I never finished the game outright, so I cannot play it. Um, and then a uh, person says, Bruh, unskilled moment. Yeah, definitely an unskilled moment for sure. This is my first time playing it, so... Um, uh, I am in no way a master of this game. <laughs> um, it's all good, Lit. Um, yeah, I'll give you a, a, a mod uh, for sure, but I don't think that this person is um, uh, malicious or anything. I'm just letting them know, hey, that I'm not a master gamer at all. I'm just here, you know, dicking around, having a good time. <laughs> uh, let's see. Taint Snake says, in Turkey, cassette tapes were still widely used and sold until like 10 years ago. 
Mike Stan Schill Porter says, one of my favorite Star Wars dad jokes I came up with is, how do you know the Death Star is old? Because it went boomer. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Kevgret says, game for fun and, and vibes. Yes, definitely. Yeah, I'm enjoying hanging out with y'all. I am shocked how many folks are online right now, but I guess I can't be too su surprised. Like, if you're like me and have just, like, an idle moment at work or something, you can just hop on uh, stream and start gabbing it up with people in the live stream. And Kamuza says, out cringe Rhea challenge. <laughs> Gerald Fente uh, Fuentes says, uh, DLC, I beat Chief uh, Salt Baker in Expert and got S rank. Oh, really? That's awesome. Congrats. Yeah, for me, like, uh, my gameplay skills are a little... Um, not great, but then I'm also uh, trying to stay engaged with the chat too. So yeah, as long as I'm not focusing too hard, I'm still end up having like a good time overall with the game. So yeah, Kamuza says, oh wait, message retracted. Emilio with Wilfredo says McQueen, <laughs> Lightning McQueen. <laughs> um, and uh, let's see, Jacob Aram says, yeah, I feel physical media is better cause say, Say Fight Club was a flop, but the DVD release was like a second opening weekend where it was successful. Oh, yeah, that's a good point for sure. Um, yeah, Fight Club is a great movie for sure. I love it. Nintendo Lee says, listening, watching you play while I play Sifu. Oh, nice. I was just watching one of my friends play Hades, and that's on my list of games to play too. I have that physical on Switch. I got it for 20 bucks. Like, another reason why I like uh, physical video games as well, they end up being cheaper than the digital versions. And uh, Gerald Fuentes says, yeah, it was hard. I died like a hundred times. Taint Snake says, when, do you, when are you going to stream uh, Shin Megami Tensei 3? It's really hard and frustrating, but fun. Shin Megami Tensei 5 is easier. I have uh, Shin Megami Tensei 3. Um, I can definitely stream it at some point. I need to get to Diddy Kong Racing and then the Evercade Collection stuff. So that'll probably be the stuff that I cover this week. So next week, I could probably look into Shin Megami Tensei. And uh, Lit Gaming says, yeah, because I can buy a used game, I can't buy a used digital. I know, Lit Gaming, not to like get into like the controversial topic, but like that's kind of what I was thinking NFTs would be, like allowing you to like sell used games. But they're just way too like un um, uncontrolled, like and un unmonitored as far as like like how do you um, enforce and hold people accountable to like these transactions that they operate with NFTs and and stuff like that? And how do you really like um, authorize ownership in an, in like a truly open web? So yeah, it's it's just a lot of it's a lot of questions basically. Yeah, Kamuzu over on Twitch says NFTs are strange. Exactly, like how do you enforce NFTs? Like you can. You can sell them, but how do you like legitimately like show that you're the owner of them? And then like, how does that get like cross-referenced and checked and authorized? And like, how do you enforce the ownership? And if someone decides to like, you know, I guess like claim ownership of your NFT, like, you know, how do you stop them? Cause it's like an open web thing. I don't know. Like, Kamuzu says, aren't they online? Yeah, they are online. And uh, Lit Gaming says, NFTs are a scam. No one owns anything. The value is what you make it. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Lit Gaming. That's, a, that's exactly, like, you know, why I, um, I'm not claiming I know a whole lot about them. It's just my, my confusion around them is like, okay, how do they work exactly? Like, and how they were explained to me and how they work is like, okay, well, how do you, how do you, like, authorize or, like, prove that you own it, you know? Cause I've been seeing like reports of people like saying, "Oh, their NFTs got stolen," and I'm just like, "But aren't you like the owner of them? <laughs> like, what do you do? Like, when you report the prop your your property stolen, it's like an open web sort of thing. So, like, it's like you own all of your media, but then again, like everyone owns all media, so there's really no sense of like ownership at all, really, in an open in a truly open web. So it's like weird. It's yeah, just something to get used to. Um, let's. See. See, Look Gaming says that's why they originally started on the dark web to pay for weapons and humans. Jesus Christ. Um, Jacob Aram says uh, physical releases helped movies and that wouldn't succeed now and I kind of blame streaming. Oh, well like was streaming like, would you say that streaming still gave access to filmmakers like to funding for, for independent movies? Like on one hand, like the box office is ruled by like, you know, like by Disney basically. And like all these like comic book movies and stuff like that and like these high budget um, sci-fi movies and action movies. 
so there isn't much room for indie movies or smaller budget movies to really get an audience other than streaming platforms. At least that's what my reading of the situation is up right now. Taint Snake says, man, it was so much fun to go to the rental stores. It's sad they died. I kept my membership cards of them. Oh, nice. Yeah, I remember Hollywood Video, Blockbuster, obviously. Um, and uh, Taint Snake says, looking forward to your Shimigami Tensei stream. Yeah, Shimigami Tensei 3, definitely. I could probably squeeze that in maybe like um, Saturday or Sunday, but we'll see. Starlax says, the value of NFTs are similar to the value of art and a lot of other things. It's made up. Oh, that's a good point. It's like whatever value you want to put on it. Rabbit Dude says, Rhea, fun fact, when me and my brother were younger, we couldn't play Spyro 3 because they placed a chip inside the game, which prevented us from burning it, a copy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I play copies or backups of, um, of PlayStation games as well, and I never really like had an issue with not being able to play them, up till now, anyway. Uh... Lit Gaming says cryptocurrency was um, was created by terrorists and criminals so they could buy things and have no trace. It's like those coins John Wick uses. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I see, I see. I'm going to exit to the map to try another uh, boss level. <laughs> uh, Kamuzu says, gotta go. All right, good to see you, Kamuzu, over on Twitch. Kamuzu says, um, uh, yeah, they gotta go over on Twitch. Kamuzu uh, with a shock face to, to Lit Gaming. And uh, Cham says, blockchain is kind of like a receipt. It tells who the owner is, but look at this. Look at Seth Green. He had his stolen and had to buy it back from the new owner. Exactly. Yeah, for real. Uh, Rabbit Dude says, congrats, Lit Gaming, on becoming a mod. Yeah, Lit Gaming's awesome. He's a good mod um, on channels that I've seen him on. And uh, let's see. Paint Snake says, NFTs remind me of Speed Space Cash from the South Park episodes where the aliens said they were just as much they were just as much worth as you think they are. Aries says, Hell yes, Taint, I would love to experience going to a Hollywood video again to rent Adam Sandler movie and a PS2 game. <laughs> uh, the Gaming says, Rab thanks, Rabbit Dude. Uh, Gerald Fuentes says, Do you have DLC? I do have the DLC, but how do I activate it? Um, and uh, Emenderman says, hello. Good to see you, Emenderman. Uh, thank you for coming to join us. Mitty says, an NFT is not a piece of art. They're linked to a copy of the art. Uh, Snorlax says, the movie theater subscription services help sim smaller films. A24 got a giant boost from users for things like MoviePass, AMC, A-List, and Regal Unlimited encourage viewership. And uh, Lit Gaming says, little baby fart Mickey Zack. <laughs> the South Park reference. And uh, Amenderman says, you got to kill the devil to unlock the DLC. Fuck, I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to be able to do that then. Okay, wait, I'm thirsty, y'all. I have to drink. Mike Stan, Shill Porter says, take care, Rhea. Got to go. All right, Mike, take care. Thank you so much for coming by to visit. Oh, God, I'm so thirsty, y'all. And we got uh, Winnerd in uh, 67 in the house. What's up? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Jacob Aram says NFTs are weird, but I guess I don't trust digital because anything digital doesn't actually belong to you. That's a good point, Jacob. Rabbit Dude says, Rhea, have you played Mario The Lost Levels? No, I haven't, but I'm aware of what those are. They're like in between Mario 1 and Mario 2, or Super Mario Brothers 1 and 2. And Nintendo Ollie says, there seems to be a lot of chat about physical versus digital. Yeah, Ollie, um, I had a lot of podcasts with my friend Ken um, about physical versus digital. And um, like, I think Ken is a little bit more knowledgeable on the topic than I am because he is like a hardcore gamer and I'm more of like a casual to like mid like um, size gamer. <laughs> um, so I always have him on to kind of like keep me accountable to the facts. But yeah, for me personally, I will opt to buy physical games before digital for sure. Oh god, this game, this, <laughs> this enemy though. This reminds me of the uh, the slimes from from Dragon Quest. <laughs> I wonder if that's where they got the inspiration for the character design. Oh man, oof. Ah. <laughs> Nicholas uh, in the house. Hello, I'm new here. Good to see you, Nicholas. Hope you're well. Thank you so much for coming to visit. Happy Tuesday to you. Oh, <laughs> um, fourth 1000 says physical all the way. Yes, I love physical media. Like, that's a big deal for me uh, personally. So all the physical media appreciation in the chat is very much uh, loved and acknowledged. 
I died, of course. <laughs> the gaming says I bought some games on 360. They then that they disappeared and I couldn't download again. Like, um, excuse me, I paid for this. I need access to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Like, once servers go down for a lot of the games, then uh, then what? You know, what did you just pay for then? Oh, we got Slanko Bomb Gaming in the house. What's up, Slanko? Good to see you. Happy Tuesday to you. Thank you so much for coming to hang out. And Tate Snake says, Lit Gaming, same with PS3, unfortunately. Yeah, for real. Uh, M. Enderman says, No, why did you use the genie wishes on this boss? Oh, wait. So, like, um, I didn't realize that it was a one or nothing. Oh, wait. I think I remember the terms that the genie said. So, like, you can only use them up until the, f the next win. Oh, okay, so I haven't won yet, so that's why I still have them. And Nicholas uh, Fornaro fan says, You look very beautiful. Oh, thank you so much, Nicholas. I appreciate it. Uh, glad to have you here with us. Hope you're doing well on this awesome Tuesday. Uh, Rabbit Dude says, Rhea, I've played it and beat it, including the bonus levels in Mario Lost Levels, the SNES version. Oh, yeah, you're talking about the Lost Levels. Yeah, I need to check that out. Nintendo Lee says, I'm a physical media whore. <laughs> LOL, my experience with the game movie starts where I pick it up and see the artwork, etc. Yes, that's a lot of us too, Ollie. So you've come to the right channel <laughs> to talk about that with everyone. Like I got movie collectors, uh, CD collectors apparently, and uh, obviously like um, uh, game collectors too. So we're big into that. Mugman in the house says, play as me now. <laughs> I have to switch, as, uh, switch into Mugman. Okay, after I die with Cuphead, which I'm sure is going to happen soon, um, I will play as uh, Mugman. Or I'll, I'll switch from Cuphead to Mugman. Aries the Show says, Slonko. Lit Gaming says, it, if it is on your hard drive, you're good. But if you deleted it to make space for another game, you're SOL. Oh, dang. Okay, so like, um, I, so I freed up some space on my uh, 200 gigabyte memory card for my Switch. But I'm hoping that I can still access those games or else I'm gonna have to re-download them and it takes just forever. The gaming says I can't download Marvel vs. Capcom 2 anymore. Luckily I was able to re-download Scott Pilgrim. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Luckily I was able to get Scott Pilgrim on Switch for uh, like $10. It was on a really good deal um, one day, randomly. Not even like for Amazon Prime Day or anything. It was just like an arbitrary deal. Mugman says good. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna uh, switch it up to Mugman in a moment. And uh, Blind Spectre says hi. Good to see you, Blind Spectre. Hope you're doing well. Happy uh, Tuesday to you. Thank you for joining us. Slanko says show some love and like the stream, y'all. Yes, thank you so much, Slanko. Ari says uh, you're pretty much just renting digital media, and the return date is when the company says it's time. <laughs> exactly when they decide to turn off the servers. That's when they. That's when it's over. Daniel in the house says, "What's up, Raya? Good to see you, Daniel. Dan uh, welcome to the stream and happy Tuesday to you. Hope you're doing well." And uh, Emenderman says, "Hey, to fight this boss by the chaser." Oh, okay. And um, Forth says, "I just don't miss uh, physical media porn." <laughs> Taint Snake says, the artwork on older games are much better and more creative than nowadays, I feel. And especially they don't include manuals and booklets anymore. Oh, that's another thing I was mentioning um, on Twitter randomly. So with CDs, they had these really cool booklets uh, inside that had the, ar the album art on the front. And I used to love those. Like, anyone who, like, used to collect, like, PS1 games or, like, Saturn games, for example, or Dreamcast games, y'all know what I'm talking about. And then obviously CDs had that, too. And uh, MIDI Music says, uh, how do you uh, look, look your physical media for the Amico? Oh, it's in a box somewhere in my closet. <laughs> I was just planning to keep it, like, for either, like, to remember, like, this saga in my life or to resell or something. I don't know. We'll see. Otherwise, it's just, you know, like, pretty looking boxes. <laughs> and uh, Mugman says, buy crack shots like Chaser, but more OP. Okay, let me uh, go back to the map to check those out. And uh, Mugman says, hey, but gaming says, because PS4 right now is literally taking movies down. You bought, at least they are giving us a heads up. Jesus, I didn't know that. Uh, Lick Gaming says the Amico would actually have to exist first. I know, I only have the um, the physical products right now. Uh, in box, in my, in my, in a, in box, in a box, in my closet. And uh, Blind Spectre says, YP, Lick Gaming says, there's one he drags around trying to scam everyone. Fourth says, LOL. Uh, Blind Spectre says, I mean, yo. 
Gary says Nima could exist on paper. Uh, okay, let's see. <laughs> Y'all are too much. Um, let me see. Um, yeah, thank you so much, folks, uh, watching on Twitch and YouTube. I soups appreciate it. Okay, um, I only have one coin, damn it. Um, let's see. Um, so this dude was talking about dropping some coins. Can you drop some coins on us, fool? <laughs> uh, let's see. Because I need some damn money. I used it all on my health. Let's see. Dorkside says, yeah, the Amico exists in all of us. I guess you could say the the Amico are the friends that we made along the way or something. <laughs> Liku at Lit Gaming says, if that system <laughs> Y'all stop! <laughs> and uh, Emenderman says, and take the coins. Oh, um, Emenderman says, go do the run and gun and take the coins. Oh, I think I was over there earlier. Okay, I can do that. And um, let's see. What was I going to do? Oh, I was supposed to switch to Mugman. Um, controls? How do I switch to Mugman? Achievements, defeat a boss. Yeah, one boss. Great. <laughs> um, how do I switch to Mugman? Taint Snake says, I miss, uh, I miss him in his meltdowns. Um, Mitty says, uh, they're the enemies we made along the way. Mugman says, go to the title. Oh, okay. Mugman, uh, there's two Mugmen in the, uh, in the chat. How do y'all? Blind Spectre says, go do running guns to get coins. You gotta exit to the game. Okay, the booklets are always the highlight of physical media. And then Bungman says, and when you go and save the file, you can pick back up. Okay. Exit to title. You gotta start over to switch characters. Okay, for sure. I will do that. MDHR Studios, y'all. Slanko says, huh? I just love this animation so much. I'm sad I can't play as um Miss uh Miss Chalice yet. I could probably download a save file so I can um, play as her. I will probably do that. <laughs> Miss Chalice says hi. Blind Spectre says yep. Andrew says what's up? Good to see you, Andrew. Hope you're doing well. Happy Tuesday. Miss Chalice says oh hi, Chalice. Yes, hi, Chalice. Good to see you. It's a delicious I don't know why my this, this um, arcade controller is weird being weird. I will try this controller instead. And Amenderman says Mugman is love, Meg, uh, Mugman is life. Yes, the like gaming says restart. I mean, you can save and then pick. Oh, okay, I will do that. Let's see. Yeah, the DLC is installed, y'all. Let's see. Mugman! Let's go, y'all. Taint Snake says, Is the female Cuphead censored on PS4? Cannot have panties on PS anymore. Oh, dang. I didn't know that. Mitchell B in the house says, Hello, all. Just got power back from Bad Storm, so I thought I'd tune in. Good to see you, Mitchell. Hope you're doing well. I'm glad you're um, doing okay after the power outage. Sending well wishes your way. Uh, Joga Novoti says, hello from Brazil. Good to see you, Joga. Hope you're well. Thank you so much for joining us. The gaming says, 41 people in the chat. Holy fuck, really? Let me refresh this shit. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Oh, dang, that's awesome. Yes, please hit the like and subscribe button, y'all. Um, and uh, Mugman says, yeah, go regular difficult, says Han Leon. Oh my god, y'all are too much. Okay, y'all are really here trying to like watch me like just end, end it all. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much to the folks uh, tuning in. I really appreciate it. I should do the run and gun, right? Let's see. Uh, let's see. Wine Specters uh, says, go regular mode, not simple. Y'all are just doing the most right now. Forest Follies run and gun. Okay, I need to get the coins here so I can get some more uh, weapons. And Ari says, what's up, Mitchell? Hope you're staying safe during the storm. Blind Spectre says, go regular mode. Yes, I will go regular mode. Blind Spectre says, okay, Mug. <laughs> Miss Chalice says, BRB. Thank you for so, so much for coming to visit us, Miss Chalice. And uh, Taint Snake says, current Sony uh, sucks. Yo, Nerdcast says, this game made me lose my shit in an epic way. 
Oh, I know what lock mode is now. Okay, cool. Yeah, for some reason my arcade controller was like not letting me do it, but once I switched to my pro controller, it, it became a lot easier. Oof. I gotta keep running, y'all. And uh, Mitchell B says, hello, Aries, still kicking. Yeah, thanks y'all for coming through to watch me get wrecked on Cuphead. <laughs> Mugman says, I get Cuphead for free. I mean, <laughs> I won't uh, describe that exactly the same way that I got my copy, but yeah, I dig it. <laughs> uh, Gibby Gilbertson says, hey, hey, saw you were streaming on the Discord and thought I'd say hi. Cool overlay. Thank you so much, Gibby, for coming by over on Twitch. And thank you to the Twitch folks for tuning in, too. We really appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Aries the Show says, hit that thumbs up, y'all. Yes, please subscribe and um, hit the like button. Thank y'all so much. Uh, Lit Gaming says, Lil, I played Doom Eternal on easy. I was like, you know what? This is just uh, once I'm going to play to have fun. And even then, the game was rough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I have no shame in playing on easy mode. Absolutely not. And uh, Blind Spectre says, parry pink objects. Yes, yeah. The pink objects parrying thing is um, something that uh, I'm still trying to get a, get a hold of. Um, uh, Amenderman says, gotta go by. Nice to have helped you. Yeah, thank you so much, Amenderman. Um, yeah, we'll play with Mugman through the rest of the show. And Mike of All Trades says, so then, uh, uh, so then we should go to Twitch, Lola, right then. Oh, no, it's, um, it's totally fine. I'm dual streaming on both platforms right now, so I, I don't have a preference for whichever one you want to go to. Uh, let's see. It wouldn't, uh,. I guess it doesn't super matter because I'm already sort of an affiliate on Twitch and um, and I'm unmonetized on YouTube anyway. So yeah, thank you though for asking, Mike. Uh, Lit Gaming says I also played Double Dragon Advance on easy because I was like I've never played this, but I want to experience the full game if I can, and I did. Um, I'm gonna go back to harder difficulty. Mitchell says hello, Slunk. Cuphead says I am here. Good to see you, Cuphead. Thank you so much for coming by to visit. Oh fuck, wrong button! <laughs> uh, let's see, we got Mugman, Cuphead in the house. What up, y'all? Good to see you. Mitchell B says, more karaoke mode. <laughs> let's try this again, y'all. It's on! Let's go, run and gun. da 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 Mugman says, I'll be right back. All right, no problem. Thanks so much for coming by, Mugman. Trying to get some coins here in this run and gun level. I need to stop being distracted by enemies behind me. I need to just focus on running. Oof. Never give up, never surrender. Oof. Oh, dang. Wrong button. Oh, God. Uh, Nintendo Ali says, got a dash ray. It's uh, 1130 here, and I got an early start. Much love. All right, Ali, take care. It was great chatting with you. Have a good evening. Uh, let's see. Blind Spectre says, okay. I know, right? Okay. <laughs> this game is just like eternally like, okay game, whatever you say. <laughs> Midi Music says, if you keep saying oof, you'll start paying royalties to Tommy. <laughs> uh, the Gang says, weird, I live in Georgia and I hear more streamers say y'all than I hear, um, uh, streamers say y'all than I hear he here there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I say y'all all the time. Um, just to address everyone. <laughs> Bugman says no. Uh, Blind Spectre says true Cuphead. I mean, I didn't have the option to pick simple or regular on this level. It's just like throwing you in. <laughs> and Perp Minded says salute Raya. Good to see you, Perp. Hope you're well. Happy Tuesday. And Mike says um, Mitchell B. Maybe on the E Honda birthday stream in a couple weeks. <laughs> And uh, Lit Gaming says, Tommy is an oof himself. <laughs> Rapid Dude says, did you beat that boss yet? I've, I've only beaten the um, the first boss so far. Who was the first boss? I forget. 
I don't know, but they were, um, they were a cakewalk compared to, you know, what I'm doing right now. <laughs> That's what Archer would describe as Baby Town Frolics. <laughs> Let's, uh, Gaming says, shared you on the community tab. Thank you so much, Lit. I appreciate it. I'll see. Oh my god. So how embarrassing. <laughs> Watch me get wrecked on, on Cuphead in front of a bunch of randos. <laughs> Um, let's see. Mitchell says, put me down for some Lionel Richie emote. Oh, yeah, the karaoke. Gotcha. Mer Perp Mindus says, I love Cuphead, and the series is pretty dope, too. Perp, did you actually finish the game? Like, so, um, I love the Netflix series as well. So, um, having, like, the context of, like, the characterizations of every character, or every all the personality traits of every character from the show, kind of helps me appreciate the game a little bit more. Cuphead says, did you know Mugman simps for Kali Maria? <laughs> I simp for Kali Maria as well. Uh, Octobay. Blank uh, Spectre says, Cuphead show on Netflix. Yes, Cuphead show on Netflix, y'all. Don't sleep on it. Season 2, um, OTW. On the way. And um, if it's not already out, I forget. Because it's basically season 1 split into 2, I think. But... <laughs> Sorry, y'all. This is a, a non-family friendly, friendly stream. <laughs> You're up. You're up. You're up. Cuphead says, click jump twice to parry. Oh, but that's only if I see pink, um, pink objects, right? Oh, God. Get away. Ah! Hurt Mindy says, absolutely not, but I do plan on going back to it at some point. I know, that's what we all say, right? That's literally me. I'll play a game for like one day and then be just like, oh yeah, I can't wait to play that some more. And then I just start another game as soon as I stream again. <laughs> El Pio Samanco over on Twitch says, how are you, Rhea? Good to see you, Brian, over on Twitch. I hope you're doing well. Happy Tuesday to you. I just got Twitch affiliate over on um, uh, over on that channel on cha that channel, and I'm still dual streaming on YouTube in the meantime since I'm still unmonetized. So, yeah, hope you're doing great. Oh, crap! I was supposed to do the dash and over the over the cliff, but I kept dying. Uh, Rabbit dude says, "Rhea, Cal dude, Kali Maria is hot." Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Cuphead says, "You can't stop me from showing them." <laughs> Wine Spectre says, uh, double jump is parry. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm double jumping, um, but I have to wait for, like, pink objects to appear, I think. Wine Spectre says, yep, dash. Apollo Samanka says, yes, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. I'm working on getting some custom emotes done so I can have something for the members over on Twitch. I wish I could just have the badges be free for everyone, though, because, like, I don't really care if people subscribe or like to be members or anything but i do like the custom emotes too bad they like are a premium though for for people though uh lit gaming says that maniacal laugh I'll, have, I'll say i'll go back to the games and then i don't like a joker i know all right evil laugh i'm like oh can't wait to play um shredder's revenge some more and then i just never turn that game back on <laughs> <laughs> Darth Mediocre, yes, that's um, that's a good name. I'm like mediocre at games, so I should be Darth Mediocre. Darth Mediocre says this game unlocks another level of rage. I mean, right now I'm kind of in like the denial phase of like, like oh, like you know, I'm just playing this game because like I have no intentions of playing it more offline. <laughs> Yay, I did the dash, y'all. Um, oh fuck, ah. And uh, Slanko says, have a good day, Aries. Oh, Aries is heading out. Uh, Aries says, gotta head out. as cool kicking with y'all. Great stream, Ray. As always, I'll catch you later. All right, take care, Aries. Have a good one. Mugman says, no, Kali Maria is mine. Oh my gosh, y'all are like really like thirst trapping. Or no, Kali Maria is uh, thirst trapping, y'all. Big time. Everyone's simping for Kali Maria in the chat. <laughs> Mike says, uh, you should be able to set follower emotes on Twitch. Oh, okay. That's a good... Um, thing to know Mike because like I would love to like give my emotes out for free uh so I will definitely do that so my artist friend is going to uh let me know once he's done with like my editing project which is taking forever because he has to watch all my streams and then edit them down into like 15 20 minute segments 
in order to post for uh, video content. So we shall d see how that goes because it's a huge obnoxious task that I gave him on top of like the art tasks that I've been like giving him feedback on to make edits on and stuff like that. So it's been like over like a month that he's been working on this stuff for me. Pert Minded says, that's a very sinister laugh. I know, right? <laughs> uh, Lit Gaming says, she had that laugh like the chick at the end of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre when she escaped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got Garguts in the house. What's up, Garguts? And um, Garguts says, damn, what did your chat turn into a Tinder or Bumble? Lol. Good to see you, Ray. I've been a minute. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, Tinder is full of bots, by the way. Bumble is a little bit more like they do a little bit more to actually verify if, like actual humans are using their their um, their service. Um, can't say the same for like Facebook dating, though. That's basically if Tinder and Bumble had a baby and it was all bots <laughs> and fake accounts. <laughs> um, Blind says, wait, sorry, uh, this chat's moving a little fast. Um, Blind Inspector says, hi, CAG. Oh, Cagney the Flower, good to see you. Hope you're well. Uh, thank you so much for coming by. Happy Tuesday to you. Rabbit Dude says, Ray, I also want to say Cup Girl's yellow dress is so pretty. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Miss Chalice, I love Miss Chalice. She is so adorable. Uh, Mike of all trades says, what's a Bumble? Kind of old, laughing my butt off. Oh, um, uh, Bumble is a dating app. So yeah, if you know what Tinder is, then there's like Bumble, then there's um, OkCupid, and there's also Hinge. Yeah, Hinge, uh, Bumble, and OkCupid. Those are kind of like some of the bigger staples, and then Facebook dating also exists. Oh fuck, I was supposed to do the dash. The dash button is like so hard for me to remember. Fuck. And uh, Blind Spectre says, sus. I know, these dating apps are pretty sus, not gonna lie. <laughs> Even if, like, someone's a verified user, I'm still just like, mm, I don't know. Deep fakes are also still a thing. <laughs> Lit Gaming says, my ex finds dudes on Craigslist and okay, keep it and wonders why it doesn't work out. Oh my god, is that how y'all met? Like, through a Craigslist app? Or, like, a Craigslist listing? So, like, I know that Craigslist has um, missed connections or something where you can, like say oh I ran into this person description of this and this and this on this day at this place so yeah if you're out there like please contact me and I'm just like how would they know to look at Craigslist to try and find you <laughs> Flonka says okay Cupid still exists yeah okay Cupid still exists a lot of the features that they used to have like um, height filters uh, no longer exist or like they do exist but you have to pay for them which sucks um, Cuphead says make shoot trigger um, shoot trigger sorry i'm like half brain dedicated to the chat half brain trying to you know look at the game screen but yeah like gaming says okay cupid is now a pay yeah yeah okay cupid uh a lot of their their features that used to be free are now behind a paywall uh blind specter says to get perfect score parry i know y'all keep telling me to parry and i'm sorry i'm trying but like I'm just like I'm literally just kind of struggle busting it through this game right now, and then enjoying hanging out with y'all in the chat. Um, Mugman with the fly emoji, uh, perp minded laughing emoji, Slanka with the laughing emoji. Um, Cuphead says uh, Mugman hates females except Kali Maria, <laughs> and um, and Infinite Rainbows in the house. I'm here now. Good to see you, Infinite Rainbows. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, wait, let me do the dash. Okay, cool. Oh, as soon as I dashed, I died. Uh, let's see. Cuphead says, and make dash as Y and X, A, and do... And X, A, and do X to change guns. That's my controls. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, so, like... I have them on default. I haven't changed the control mapping, but I should probably check that out. Bugman says, Cuphead, uh, that we made Callie uh, Marie my girlfriend. <laughs> Blind Spectre says, what? <laughs> I know, right? I'm just like, what? <laughs> Callie Marie is Bay though, in the game. And then, obviously, Miss Chalice is Bay too. Baby Bay. Uh, Cuphead says, Chalice has a parry dash. Oh, she does? That's awesome. I wish I could play with her. Uh, Sosa Bam 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 says, Ray, you rock, huh? You're doing Cuphead. I asked for this game. You did, Sosa. Most people voted for it as well in the community tab. So, thank you for the suggestion. Sosa put the uh, idea out there, and then I put it on the ta on the um, the vote, uh, the voting poll for the community, and then everyone voted for Cuphead, Diddy Kong Racing, or Evercade stuff. 
So we'll play Diddy Kong Racing later in the week, and then we'll do some Evercade stuff as well. Walkhard says, running up that hill, running up that building. <laughs> yes, yeah, the Kate Bush song, running up that hill, exactly. Good to see you, Walkhard. Hope you're well. Uh, the gaming says, I agree. If you can remap the shoot to one triggers, then you could just hold it down and use face buttons to jump. Y'all are uh, speaking another language, low key, but uh, I will do my best to uh, figure that out at some point. But right now, I'm just sort of like vibing, just playing the game, derping around and stuff. Oh, I thought I was d attacking the um, the thing, but it was it was destroying me instead. Slonko says, "I really thought Diddy Kong was gonna win." Yeah, Slonko, it was back and forth for a minute. Uh, Diddy Kong and uh, Cuphead were going back and forth. Uh, let's see. Gibby says, "Diddy Kong Racing is my all-time fave. Way better than Mario Kart 64, in my opinion." Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. Um, I did get a chance to play it, and it's uh, pretty lagless as far as uh, being able to play it. Um, on my switch so yeah i'm excited to check that out for y'all sosa says thumbs up the stream thank you so much sosa um and blind specter says i'm gonna like the stream thank you so much blind specter uh i appreciate all the support and uh folks coming through to watch cuphead uh yeah i'm enjoying streaming it for y'all and hanging out sosa says it was awesome 711 is great thanks for the hard work absolutely and uh blind specter says done Mike of all trades over on Twitch says, Gibby Mario Party on Parsec win. <laughs> uh, Gibby says it's on Switch now. Oh, um, no, so like I um, I installed it on my Switch, if you, if you know what I mean. <laughs> on my modded Switch. Yeah, that's how I'm able to play it. Uh, and uh, let's see. Lit Gaming says, Diddy Kong plays much better than Mario Kart and also added different vehicles to race. Yeah, the hoverboat, the plane, for sure. And uh, let's see, Mike of all trades says, I do what I can, Sosa. <laughs> uh, Momoon says, rubber hose animation gameplay. Yes, absolutely. I'm gonna exit to the map and try out another boss level just to like make it interesting to look at. <laughs> and I'm just checking my phone really quick for updates. Let's see. Oh dang, it's already 345. Well, like, where I'm at anyway, Pacific Standard Time. Let's see. Okay, cool. I am gonna take a small break to drink the rest of my Gatorade. Stream Element says, thanks for subscribing, Wolfgang. Thank you so much, Wolfgang, for the subscription. Uh, yeah, for, for folks who um, are joining us for the first time, really appreciate you being here. Uh, please smash the like button and please subscribe if you're into watching other gaming content as well. I do a lot of um, chill game streamings as well as um, po uh, podcasts and other stuff. So yeah, um, I'm really excited to be able to stream more content for y'all. And let's see, Blind Specter says, if you defeat Goopy, the blue guy next level is Hildeberg. Oh, I know who that is, the, um, um, the blimp lady. Yeah, the Hindenburg, the Hildeberg, yeah. Let me just log my Gatorade really quick. Cagney the Flyer Flower says it's 6.46 p.m. for me. Oh, yeah, you're over on the East Coast then. Blind Specter says, same. Sosa says, I have work, that's why I challenge Cham, haha. <laughs> uh, Cuphead says, it's 6 p.m. for me. Yeah, there's a lot of East Coast folks. Mugman, Mugman says, guinea pig can't stop sleeping. All right, I'm gonna log this Gatorade, those 20 ounces. Let's see, so exciting watching me log my calories and my liquids, right, y'all? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, cool, go ahead and save that. Mike says, get that bread, Sosa. Yes, get that bag. And uh, Infinite Rainbow says, it's 3 p.m. for me. Yeah, yeah, three, it's uh, three, 3.47 for me. Infinite Rainbows, uh, yeah. And um, Gabriel says, uh, Amanda Solve. Good to see you, uh, Gabriel. Hope you're well. Thank you so much for coming by. And Lit Gaming says, BRB, no problem. Uh, thanks for uh, modding it up in the chat, Lit Gaming. Uh, Gibby Gibbertson says, Mike of all trades, anytime. Haha, -ha, make a lobby sometime, or if you're streaming, I'm down to join for sure. 
My cock hurt says, uh, Cuphead is a lot of fun, but I found it very difficult to progress when I tried it. Good to see you, Mike. Uh, glad to have you in the chat as always. Um, achievement unlocked, cutting corners. Oh, nice. Treetop Trouble. Let's try this out, y'all. Gargut says, now that I got free time, we can do in the army review now. Oh, yeah, that's true. We got to go back to the Pauly Shore uh, series of reviews. And um, the gaming says, got to switch phones and charge my good one. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Mitty says, here it's almost 1 a.m. Dang, Mitty, why are you still awake then? Mike uh, says, hi, Mike Hawkers. Uh, Mike says, hi, Mo. Mo Moon says, time is an illusion made by man. Exactly. Time doesn't exist on the moon, right, Mo? <laughs> And um, Blind says, did I join Twitch? Uh, Blind Spectre, you're more than welcome to hang out here on YouTube or uh, Twitch, whichever one you prefer. Um, I have most of my audience uh, on YouTube just because like, that's where I mostly hang out, but you're welcome to uh, gab it up on Twitch or YouTube, and I'll be sure to follow your chats on every platform. We got Woody Woodpecker in the house over here. I don't know why I was dicking around, like just being idly like hit by these enemies. I should have been running and gunning. Oh, I'm trying to like double jump up here to get this coin. Oh, fuck. Why is it not working? Uh, Gibby says that's fair. Oh, I died. Uh, Cuphead says Mugman has a, uh, had an army earlier today. Mugman says me. <laughs> Um, okay, this card says, who invited you into our tree? Only members are welcome, you see? You see? <laughs> um, run and gun. All right, let's go, y'all. Peck, 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 peck. Peck, 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 peck. Oof. Rip. Ah! Okay, I think that was one of the pink ladybugs that I could parry off of. Y'all in this fucking parry system, though. This is what really is going to grind my gears. Oh, I missed my shot right there to get the coin. Oh, whatever. Gotta keep running. Don't have time. Oh, fuck. I can't even, like, destroy that uh, woodpecker. Alright, we're going to destroy these wasps or these bees, whatever they are. Dude's in our way. Uh, let's see. Mugman says smoke bomb. Cuphead says everyone was, uh, was Mugman. <laughs> Love Cuphead and Mugman in the chat. I wish Miss Chalice would come back, too. Uh, Mumun says gotta get that coin with a K. Yes, absolutely. The bag never sleeps, Mo. Oh, dang. Oh, am I supposed to, like, dash jump? Is, or, like... Okay, cool. I did it. I did it! I'm, oh, I died. <laughs> uh, Blind Spectre says, waiting to download Twitch. Oh, okay, no problem. Thank you so much, Blind um, uh, Spectre. You're up. You're up. So I guess I need to set up my emotes for followers over on, um, on Twitch, which I'm more than happy to do. And then I still plan to dual stream on Twitch and YouTube as long as I'm able to. Like, I know it's, like, a little against the T's and C's, but I don't really care. <laughs> like, it's fine. Um, let's see. Slanko says, dope dope tea today. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, my Aaliyah tea. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you're doing well, Slanko. Um, when, when, is your gun bleh, when is your next stream going to be, by the way? Is it going to be this weekend? Terrence Martin says, liked. Thank you so much, Terrence Martin. I uh, hope you're having a great day, and thank you so much for joining us. Cuphead says, and we got mod on someone's channel by making them hit 250. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, um, or sorry, um, that is really cool. Like, you were able to help the channel out with, like, uh, that many viewers. I would be really intimidated if I had that many people in the, in the audience expecting me to, like, actually play this well. <laughs> um... But yeah, <laughs> good to have y'all in the house anyway, regardless. Slanko says, Friday most likely. Oh, nice. Awesome. I will be sure to check it out. Thank you. Thank you for letting us know. Pumun says, nine for the mortal men doomed to die. <laughs> Puppet says, no, 250 subs. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Sorry, I thought you meant viewers. That is really cool uh, for the subs. 
Cuphead says, hi, guys. And uh, Sanko says, got to try out new gear first. All right. Yeah, you got some new gear that you're going to be um, uh, showing off. That'll be awesome. Cuphead says, uh, it's me, Cuphead. Yes, good to see you, Cuphead. Funko says, who's the real Cuphead? I'm not sure. We've been going for almost two hours, and we've had a bunch of uh, celebrity um, cameos pop up in the chat. We had Miss Chalice, Cupman, Mugman. <laughs> and Daniel uh, Murdoch says, Whisk Bosses, have you done? I just joined the stream. Oh, good to see you, da uh, Danielle. Hope you're well. Thank you so much for joining us. I've been just sort of playing against all the bosses, losing, and just sort of like showing like how terrible I am at the game. <laughs> but I haven't beaten all... B I've beaten... Uh, one boss so far. I forget who it was. Um, oh, gosh. It was uh, the potato and the carrot boss. Yeah. Mitty says they were all alts, I bet. Oh, yeah. True enough. Uh, Steve Bell says, hello. What's the death count at? Oh, man. I lost track. We've been dying over and over. <laughs> Cuphead says, um, if you're a real Cuphead, who will voice Cuphead? Um, but, yeah. Good to see you, Danielle, Steven, uh, or Steve, and uh, folks in the chat. Terrence Martin, new folks. Mugman, Cuphead, other Cuphead. Thank you all so much for uh, coming through to hang out. Eating Pay says, beating one boss is a good day of Cuphead, lol. Yes, I know. The um, potato and carrot boss, that was um, that was uh, like very simple compared to, you know, the, the hell I'm in right now. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I might cap it at like two hours like I usually do so I can uh, get some, so I can cook something uh, good to eat. I died, but I was supposed to use that as a platform. Darn it. Uh, Cuphead says, I want to say we have new update. Um, yeah, I have the, the download. I downloaded the, um, what is it? The DLC. But because I didn't beat the game yet, um, I can't access it. Chloe and Friends Epic uh, Challenge at it. Uh, will you read the chat? Yes, I'm reading the chat. Uh, thank you so much for coming through, Chloe. Um, hope you're well. Um, I appreciate folks who are coming through to join us. Mugman says orange. Cuphead says coming soon. Mike uh, of All Trade says, do we have alerts on Twitch set up? No, I don't have alerts on Twitch set up. Um, so uh, looking at the Twitch chat over on the screen says, uh, plus vibes too. Yeah, Rhea, uh, good to see you. Um, wife, uh, well, we, you were here earlier a couple hours ago when I started. And um, yeah, thank you for joining the chat again over on Twitch. Blind Spectre says, I'm not ed edgible. El eligible? Is that what you mean? <laughs> uh, let's see. Cuphead says, you have to beat the white build to get the DLC. Yeah, yeah, I downloaded the DLC and have it installed. I just can't access it right now. Cuphead says uh, season two will be released August 19th, 2022. Oh, nice. Season two of uh, the Cuphead series. That's awesome. Chloe says, who's your favorite Cuphead or um, or or Mugman? Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so like, um, I like Cuphead. He's uh, definitely the cutest one. And then Mugman, like, I guess Mugman is also really cute with like their little blue nose. So it's kind of hard. I think like for me, Cuphead, like, they never learn his, he never learns his lesson, even, he's kind of a little, like, uh, troublemaker. And then Mugman's always, like, the reluctant, you know, sidekick. So I kind of have a little bit more empathy for Mugman. I don't dislike Cuphead, it's just that, like, I tend to feel sorry for Mugman more. So I guess Mugman is, uh, someone, is the one that I like the most, I guess. Cuphead the move. Cuphead says, Cuphead the movie is an upcoming, upcoming American animated fantasy comedy film based on the video game of the same name published by studio mdhr ah gotcha oh got a notification let's see okay cool awesome thank you okay awesome okay cool so we got that out of the way infinite rainbow says it's not season two. Oh right i was just saying earlier it's kind of like uh part two of season one that they're releasing and um Blind Spectre says, I'm not eligible, so I can't join Twitch. Oh, no, no problem, Blind Spectre. You're welcome uh, on any platform you want to hang out on. So um, I try my best to read all the chats on every platform all the time. So thank you so much for uh, choosing to hang out with us. Let's see. Uh, Cuphead says, I do learn my lesson. <laughs> Cu 
Cuphead, you gotta it, you gotta learn your lessons a little bit faster though, because sometimes like you need multiple lessons in order to learn anything. <laughs> Blind Spectre says, "Yep, true, Cuphead." Uh, Infinite Rainbow says, "Cuphead is stupid. <laughs> he made a deal with the devil, with the devil himself." Cagney the Flower says, "I subscribe." Thank you so much. Um, Mike of all trades over on uh, Twitch says, "Yay, a, a bit badge now." Wait, a bit a bit badge? Mike, I'm gonna need your help because I have some Twitch questions on how I should set it up. Because like I want to get some emotes done, but then I'm like, well, how do I? Well, I need badges as well. Like there are like all these different customizable things I can do. So yeah, it's just a whole thing. Uh, Cuphead says maybe. Blind Spectre says yep. Cagney says I subscribe. Thank you so much, uh, Cagney, for the subscription. I appreciate it. Um, and Stream Element says thanks for subscribing. Plasma's beatbox battles. Thank you so much uh, for subscribing, y'all. I appreciate it. Cuphead says, I did not die in the DLC. Mugman died in the DLC. <laughs> Lit Gaming says, I'm back. Good to see you, Lit Gaming. And uh, Danielle says, I subscribe. Thank you so much, Danielle. I appreciate it. And Blind Spectre says, CQP. Uh, Flowey and Friend says, uh, Kamala, 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 Vest uh, Q. Um, Mike of all trades says, just see me, DM me, I got you. Yeah, you also need alerts, lol. I need a lot of shit, Mike. I need, I need to get my life together. And uh, Slanko says, let's go, like and subscribe. Like, Blind Spectre says, I sub. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. Cuphead says, when I was Cuphead born, I subbed. Thank you all so, so much. I appreciate it a lot. Um, but yeah, we've been going for like two hours now. So uh, let me go ahead and exit to uh, quit the game. So what I'll do is... Um, I will go through the chat and thank everyone for coming by. And thank you again to Dorkside for the generous donation earlier. Uh, $10 for playing this game and watching me lose my shit for two hours. Um, but yeah, this has been so much fun. Crystal in the house over on YouTube says, I think I ate too many cookies. Oh, dang, Crystal, I hope you feel better. I'm sorry you got a little tummy ache action happening. Cuphead says he ate a cookie that swapped him with Miss Chalice. Um, Blind Spectre says BRB. No problem, Blind Spectre. I'm just going to go ahead and go through the chat and uh, thank everyone for joining. Mamoon says, but I just got here, Dab. I know, but I've been sitting here for two hours and I need to stretch. I got that scoliosis, man. So I got to, like, you know, move around and stuff. <laughs> um, but, yeah, y'all are awesome. Y'all are so much fun. It was a, a thrill <laughs> getting uh, my shit wrecked in this game. So I know I said I usually don't check out games multiple times because I am too busy trying to get to the next game but I know y'all enjoy watching this game so I will do my best to play it at least one more time what I'll try to do is um uh get a save file that has the game beat so I can play with Miss Chalice so I will look into doing that um and thank you to all the new subscribers Cuphead, Danielle, uh Blind Spectre, uh Cagney the Flower, Flowery and Friends uh y'all are awesome and um Blind Spectre says hope you beat this oh man I don't know if I can beat this unless someone hacks it too to make it even easier. Eating Pace says, fun stream for sure. Crystal says, charm. Uh, Slow Slanko says, incredible stream. Thank you, Rhea. Flowey, uh, what's your favorite food? My favorite food? Oh, that's a hard question. I love um, Mexican food, like fajitas. That would be awesome. Um, and then Walk Hard, thank you so much um, for uh, coming through. Uh, let's see. Eating Pace says, thanks for getting me through my work day, LOL. Oh my god, Eating Pace. You're <laughs> Lit Gaming says, stick and stay. Um, and uh, folks in the chat, thank y'all so much. Mo Moon, uh, Slanko, Midi Music Forever, and um, uh, Lit Gaming, Mike of All Trades, My Cock Hurts. <laughs> Every time someone like uh, hears me say that, they're just like, lol, what? <laughs> and um, Sosa Fan Bam Bam, thank you so much. Uh, all the Cuphead crew, thank you so much for the YouTube uh, support. Uh, Garguts, thank you so much. Uh, Perp Minded, Mitchell B. Um, let's see, Cham, Legzy, and uh, Nintendo Lee, thank you so much. Let's see, Yield Nerdcast, Taint Snake, uh, Juan Leon, uh, Enderman, and uh, let's see, let's see, scrolling, let's scrolling. Oh man, the chat was like popping off for two hours. Uh, Andrew, Miss Chalice, thank y'all so much. And uh, Hans, thank y'all, thank you so much. Obviously, Dark Side, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, uh, Jacob Aram, thank you so much for coming through, talking about physical media, see your CD collection. Kev Brett, thank you so much for coming through to hang out, talking about your CD collection as well. That was a cool little tangent we were on like earlier in the stream about uh, CD collections. And uh, Crystal said I subscribe to your channel. Thank you so much, Crystal. I really appreciate it. 
and uh, we have a link to the Discord in the description as well, and on my um, uh, Twitch as well. So if you're watching on Twitch or YouTube, you should easily be able to access that if you were so inclined. Uh, Slanko says, pop it all the way off. Yes. Terrence Martin says, uh, fist bump, peace. All right. Cool. Awesome, y'all. I wanted to um, get a chance to thank everyone on both platforms, YouTube and Twitch. Y'all are the best. And then Wife uh, Div, thank you so much for coming through over on that channel. And uh, Gibby, thank you so much all over on Twitch. And Mike for holding it down on Twitch as well. Uh, so, yeah, that was awesome, y'all. I'll go ahead and play the outro. And uh, Flowey says, truth or dare. Wait. What it, okay, now I need to now I need to stick around for this. Okay, Flowey, I will pick uh, truth. What is the truth that you want to ask me? I, you have um, uh, a few seconds, and then I will go through and talk with the chat until you uh, type in your truth question. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Flowey, I said my favorite food is uh, Mexican food, and uh, let's see. Flowey says, "What day is it?" Oh, it's um, what day is it? Well. On the West Coast Pacific Standard Time, it is Tuesday, but I'm, I think for folks over in Japan and Australia, like on the other side of the world, basically, it's already like Wednesday. Uh, Midi Music says, bruh, what a waste. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what, what to tell you, Midi. I mean, it's like, it is what it is, but the game uh, is really hard and it was beating my ass for two hours. But I'll get back into it. I know y'all love it. So uh, I'll go ahead and play the outro. Thank you again, y'all, for holding it down in the chat. And yeah, I'll catch y'all later. Take care. Bye.